Welcome to Disc Golf Streams coverage of the Nokia Open 2023, fourth stop on the European Pro Tour. We've got final round action from the MPO. Andrew Gum here. Victor Torgestad here, right next to you. And uh, we saw some great action earlier today. Heidi Leinen was crowned the champion of uh, Nokia Open 2023. Who do you think the second champion will be? It's looking like Mallory Vielman is a strong favorite, but he's going to have to get it done again today. He hasn't really had any bad, bad rounds all year, from what it seems. He's got a four-stroke ad advantage over Daniel Davidson at the moment. He's averaging over 1060 rated for the event, shooting pretty hot. Yeah, it, it, he is just unstoppable, but it's not going to be easy for him today, because on that lead card... Mauri is, of course, having a lead with four strokes, but right behind there, Ladin Davidson, Lauri Lehtinen, and Jesse Niemenen. Those are really good players, and it doesn't stop there. The chase card, look at that. Mikael Hamme, Nilo Hongisto, Teemu Talikainen, Christian Koksa. That's, that's just insane, those eight players in the top. That's like a list of who's who yeah. in European disc golf at the moment, really. All big stars, and right now this guy is at the top of the world almost, at least in Europe. Yeah, he's got the highest birdie rate in the world, that's for sure. Throwing the disc as good as anybody. Yeah, oh, he, he played <laughs> very solid yesterday. Came in and took six birdies in a row on the six starting holes. Then slowed down just a little bit with a double bogey on hole nine. And then finished in style again and finished at ten down. That was... Yeah, no, he was. He, he doesn't keep down the back nine, yeah. right? Oh man, yeah, he's just shooting lights out all year long and showing no signs of, of stopping either. He's just rolling right along, collecting the all the good ratings and all the paychecks, tour points and trophies. It, yeah, it feels like we're repeating ourselves here in the booth, but it's it's difficult actually to find any new words that we haven't said yet about Mauri Willman. Well, that's the perfect example of what he's doing all the time, you know. Every he, time just finds <laughs> a way there. This was crazy here, like Christian Quaxa, 150 meter pure hyzer. Didn't have his best day yesterday, but still he did this and that's what we're gonna remember forever. Oh, for Eagle. <laughs> hole 7, the longest hole, 271 meter and he just... Uh, Casually throws it there in two and makes the putt as well. Yeah, we had many highlights yesterday. We're going to see many today, but that was one of the cooler things that happened. There was so much exciting action yesterday. Tons of highlights, like you said. Here was one of them. This is one of the crazier things we've ever seen here on Disc Golf Stream. Ace running this 131 meter hole. The line is just pure as can be, threads the needle through those trees over the pond. Hits the top of the basket and skips forever. <laughs> and we have to say also that that was the only, only hole he played over par. Yeah, and that was just that's just terrible. And that luck. could have I mean, just have gone in instead. So okay. that <laughs> yeah, he he didn't really mess up at all. I mean that like you can't do that shot much better. To, you know, no, hit, hit I don't the think he would have changed anything. That was just a bad bogey. luck. That's just, yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. Nice highlight putt there from Christian. So I'm, I'm thinking that Tony Davidson might be furious today and just go out there and shoot lights out from the start. It's going to be so fun to see. Yeah, he's he's the closest one, you know, uh, to Maori. So if he can put on a heater and put some pressure on, that's 
that's kind of the most likely situation for Lowry to be tested. I mean, Lowry's just one stroke behind Daniel, so he's also one of the guys that could, you know, get off to a hot start and try to try to close that gap. Definitely. Yes, in Yemen and also there as the final guy on the lead card, he is the reigning champion of Nokia Open. He is the defending champion. He always plays well at this course. He has almost never finished outside top six. I have been looking back a few years and he's always right there, right there up in the top. Doesn't matter if it's Nokia Open or European Open. As soon as he's in on the, this course, he's playing well. Yeah, he, he just vibes with this course. Everything matches up perfectly. You know, all that uh, prominent forehand and solid putting. There's Daniel finishing his round. Nine down, he was 1063 rated, so solid shooting. It's nice. Lowry finished his round with this birdie. And Lowry's starting to find it. We're waiting for him to get up on his absolute highest level, and we started to see it at the end of yesterday's round. We're seeing signs of it, yeah, yeah. and then, then some kind of uncharacteristic mistakes here and there still, so he's trying to find that uh, really smooth flow and comfort on the course after a long... Uh, uh, time of inactivity for the during the off season because of injury. There you, get, you see the leaderboard. But yeah, Jesse Neiman is eight strokes behind though. That's that's a pretty big distance when you're talking about Maori. You know, he just doesn't make enough mistakes. No, it it is probably too much. It's probably going to be all about these three players in the top. But uh, we know what Jesse can do, and if he starts to put a little bit pressure from behind, we might see some nerves from the other players. But Honestly, I don't think Mauri Vilma knows how to spell that word even. Yeah. Nerves doesn't just... It, no, he doesn't have them. There you see the, uh, the Pro Tour point standings. Mauri clearly out front. How's Samuel doing? Is he in the field? He is Should in be, the yeah. field, but hasn't been... He's playing solid, but not like not anything really. special. We have been uh, a little bit spoiled by his performances early this season. He's had a killer season, hasn't he? Off yeah. to a really good start. Maybe not his best weekend here, but... No, uh, okay, he DNF'd after yesterday's round, where he played 11 over par, so okay, he... Uh, okay, hopefully we're not... We're not going to see him today. Hopefully not an injury or anything. No, we saw him also there practicing earlier this week, so we'll, yeah. we'll see. Hopefully it's nothing... But yeah, that's no points for towards him on the European Pro Tour that's right. standing, so that opens up some opportunities for others to raise their standing. Here's a look Look at our birdie blueprint. And no surprise, we're having the same uh, first point there as the Finnish commentary couple there, stamina. It is important on a long course like this, and not only physically, physical stamina required, also mental. Yeah, it's a, it's a mentally demanding course, and you need to have that mental stamina. You need to just keep on going and prepare yourself for a long round and for a long weekend. Yeah, it's, it requires... A, a lot of condition conditioning uh, physically uh, just to withstand the, the distance and but it's really challenging mentally the way it's designed you know the the penalties compound quickly the the difficulties everywhere it really really requires uh you know to be in the moment really focused all the time on the shot upcoming you have to execute each each given shot you can't you can't be uh, wasting any mental energy thinking about what's happened before or what's upcoming you really have to be fully in your element there and uh present yeah mistakes are going to happen then next thing you have to do is to repair those mistakes the master of that has Maur mauri vilman has really figured out how to do that it seems like he yeah. makes maximum one or two mistakes per round and then he just repairs them immediately yeah. so that they don't even cost him like much so yeah he's he's the man in that regard but yeah, you got to kind of figure out what what weapons you have and which ones are the highest percentage. You know, what where's your chances to score on this course? Because if you're if you're too aggressive and try to try to get all the birdies, then you're going to get bit. You know, pretty hard. If you're not Mauro Vilman, yeah, there are no <laughs> holes that doesn't suit him. That's true. But for most players, there are some holes that are more scorable than others, and try to focus on those because. Uh, it is a difficult hole, a difficult course. Here we see our current conditions there. Lovely day, 21 degrees Celsius or just about 70 Fahrenheit. Low humidity, 
Moderate winds. Shouldn't be any problem. No big problems, at least, for these players. I'm sure we're going to get a weather update from our field reporter soon. Uh, but we are going to wait for these players to tee off first, at least. It's uh, just a minute to go until we get to see them throw. Should we uh, talk a little bit about the hole so far, hole one? Yeah, hole one is a hole unique to this event. You won't see this on the European Open layout. This is the only difference in the in the course. Of course, the, the configuration of holes is different, so uh, the layout will be uh, modified and it'll go in a different order, but this is the only change in the actual holes. And uh, as you see it here, it's a long tunnel shot with OB all around, including this OB trap on the left that um, you have to avoid. Forehand's kind of the safe bailout play to the right, but it won't get you all the way to the basket in most cases. And uh, yeah, there's the more aggressive line for the righty backhand is the kind of a Heiser flip turnover type shot that can get you all the way there. But it's really, really tough one. Only 10% of the field getting the birdie today, averaging 3.32. Uh, anyone has par parked it already? We had three park drops oh. today, so people are starting to figure out. Eka Kulhi, Artu Altonen, and Vili Pasila all parked it. Here and we see the man. And he might just park it. He has been... Uh, he had actually a bogey here on day one. Yeah, Much better yesterday, though, but let's see what he can do today. Got the birdie yesterday. Wasn't quite parked, but... Many fans out on the course, and they mm -hmm. all want to see this guy shoot lights out for a <laughs> yet third day in a row. And he's doing just that. That did such oh, a good line. That's a beauty. Could almost go in. Oh, that was that an ace run. Wow. And he's and lucky, to, in lucky to check up inbounds. That almost went in. I didn't think we would see anything like that. But okay, this is the kind of Mauri Willemann you're going to see today. He he's is clearly here ready to play. Yeah, he showed up. Oh, my. How did, but what a pure line that was. You really can't do it any better. I mean, of course, it'd be nice to ring it up, but from that distance. Whew, close call. And it stayed safe. Daniel, a little bit low and overturned. I hope it doesn't cut roll into that OB. Oh, it hit uh, the stake and came back safe. Is that what happened? Yeah, it okay. cut roll and hit the, hit the OB stake and, and came safe. Oh my goodness. What a good break there from Daniel. So he's on the fairway, but uh, only halfway up. Lauri then is going to try to do something similar to Maori. I I would have never even dreamed of seeing seeing an ace here, but now we know that it's possible. Maori is Vilman is just doing crazy thing. That was a brilliant line. This is looking good if it can work back to the left. Yeah, yeah it does, it does. That's, that's very good. That that's is incredible. Yeah, Perfect. Right inside the circle. And yes, in Yemen, here you're going to see a forehand. You're going to see many forehands from him. Few players are throwing as good forehands as he does. Really solid player overall. Yeah, great to have him back on our card. Got to see him round one on that feature. He didn't have his best day and missed the lead card, but battled back strong on moving day, and that wasn't too great, was it? No, couldn't see where it went, but uh, we'll see that soon enough. Let's have a look at the course close-up. Nokia Disc Golf Park in uh, Nokia, just outside Tampere in Finland. Established 2008, rated 4.2 on UDISC, and very famous course, of course, uh, famous from uh, European Open. Yeah, beautiful park setting. Par 63, just over two and a half thousand meters. Familiar views from the European Major. We've got a, a different hole one, as I already explained, and then a different configuration of holes. In this layout, the hole 14 is what we're flying over now, the famous bunker hole. It can really destroy your round and uh, really exciting and dramatic fashion. All these stadium holes can be incredibly punishing or really rewarding if you're able to get them. And yeah. Thanks a lot to UDISC for providing that course close-up and for everything they do. Much appreciated. Y yes, and Yemenan must have hit the tree and kicked over the fence because he was out of bounds. Okay, not the start he was looking for. Not at all. He needs to get up and down from a tricky position 
to get a bogey. That's uh, a nightmare start almost. Pretty bad miss, yeah. That's we yeah. saw his reaction, we couldn't see the disc, but it seems like, like he's repairing it here. That's good. That's what you need to do. Mistakes are going to happen. Forget about them and focus on the next shot. Let's take a moment and check in with our field reporter quickly. We have a new one today, right? Yes, hello. It's uh, Juha Kyto filling in for Vene. He need to, needed to go back to home to Denmark, so uh, I will be your field reporter today. Okay. Daniel Davison is getting ready for his putt, so we will not disturb him. Or lay up maybe but uh, let's check in with Juha again in a short while jump putt approach from Daniels pretty so close. he was actually out of bounds oh okay okay maybe yeah. it curled back in uh, I guess we didn't get to see it totally finish but I did see the disc hit that stake and it looked like it came back in bounds but I maybe didn't see the yeah it actually kicked uh, out of bounds there from the from the stick okay okay which means that Maori is <laughs> having a chance to run away with it all, uh, already on hole one. Of course, it's very early to say anything, but... Uh, it, it could be a two-stroke swing, though. Yeah. If he's able to connect here from circle two. That shouldn't be any problem the way he's putting right now. Yeah, this is fully in his range. He had a 60... What was it? 75%, 66% birdie rate yesterday? Yeah, 12, uh, 12 out of 18. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Two thirds birdies. Could it start already here? Today? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's over 54% for the year. Highest in the world. Can you get another one here to start his final round? Pinocchio open. Of course. Absolutely. Highlight putt to get started. Of course. Similar to what we saw Silva Sarinen doing this morning getting one on hole one from outside circle, looking like nothing. Mauri Willmann has been doing that all season long, just uh, slamming putts from everywhere. Lauri Lechtinen closer inside circle one for a birdie. We'll get him to second place if he makes this one. Yep. That's where he's going to be, and he's not letting Maori grow the gap to him, at least. Yes, and uh, Daniel Davidson with disappointing bogeys on hole one. Two bogeys, two birdies. This one uh, averaging 3.3 for the, for the day. Just 11% birdies. Boosted up a little bit by that lead card. There you go. And let's check again with Juha. We're seeing some uh, sun here. We saw some... Uh, we had a weather report saying 20 degrees. How is the weather and how is the gallery there? The weather is 20 degrees. Uh, can't see any clouds anywhere in the sky. So it's getting hot, but there is also a lot of wind and gusts of wind here. So it's quite uh, close to the first day of the event. Okay, so the wind's picked back up. We just saw Tame Mutali kind in there on hole three. What a beauty. Yeah, sliding it up inside the circle. Yeah, he's on the chase card. We are having some other players there as well. What has he done so far? Two pars. Okay. Christian Quark's on that chase card, two for two. Ooh, good start for him. Yeah, he's up to fourth now. Nilo Hongisto, one under par, and Mikael Hammer, the fourth player on that card. Actually, he was on top of the chase card, but has a bad round going today. One over par after two holes. He just hit that first available tree. Yeah, he looked completely deflated after hole nine yesterday. But then he came back at the end, didn't he? Uh, here's Christian's feedback. And it's leaking left, but somehow fights through all the way up to pin high. I think you got pretty lucky yeah, there. <laughs> definitely. And Nilo Hongisto, a young Finn who came out of nowhere last year. And look at that smooth forehand. Catches that last tree to beat, but it's got an open look from just outside circle two. 
way uphill though. Yeah, pretty hard to get it all the way in from there, but easy par at least. Yeah, when Neil Hongesto showed up last year, wasn't that the Finnish nationals? Mm -hmm. No one, well, almost no one knew who he was, and uh, he finished third or fourth then. Yeah, something like that, very high at least, and uh, proved then afterwards that yeah, I'm at this level, and just continued to crush and has been crushing ever since yeah really highly rated incredibly talented that forehand super powerful we got to see him uh, uh, quite a bit in spain and that was a ton of fun he actually finished on the podium there it's true and now he's on the chase card at Nokia, he hasn't had uh, any like bad results or anything, but also not anything really big going on this year. Very solid performances, though. Yep. Here he is. Good a chance. Nice soft there. run there. Yeah, he has only been playing at the European Pro Tour this year, and he has finished 38th, 7th, and 19th, which okay. is which is good, decent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Christian Kuoksa then for his second. Almost getting his third in a row. They're touching the basket side at least but not really close enough, but still a very good start. Yeah, two out of three ain't bad. Seems like no one will be able to match that pace that Mauri Willman set yesterday, six for six. Mauri could do it himself though, and Lauri Lehtinen still able to do that. But that was just insane the way Mauri came out yesterday and Looked like a monster. Mikael Hamel not looking like a monster right now. Too short there on mm -hmm. that one. Demo Talekainen, winner in Belgium at the Belgian Open. Very young Finnish player, 18 years old. Already one of the best in Europe, and in a few years' time he will be one of the top players in the world. I'm quite sure of that. Yeah, super talented. Comes up just short on that putt. And he's that kind of player that just is never satisfied with anything else than perfection. Yeah, yeah, he really, really pushes himself to excel in every way. And he's quite disappointed if he doesn't execute, but... A little bit... I don't know if it's a really slow start. Three, three pars is pretty good, but you'd, you'd like to get maybe one of them at least. Hole two. Mauri Willmann. How close can he get? Maybe a little bit too much angle there. That's not looking like a likely birdie. No, catches those trees. Lauri Lehtinen, second on the D-pad. I Ooh, think this is going to be closer. Skip Oh, in. not far from it, oh, but he is going to get the second birdie of his round. That was so good. A little forehand flex with that justice, I believe. Tony Davis on trying Pretty to do the smooth as well. Same thing, almost skipping. Don't in, do that. And that has to stop, but it's not going to stop. That is going to be all the way down. Oh, it was such a good line. Just cut edge. That's what happens on this, this hole. Yeah. 
can just never be safe. Unfortunate. Today, plane has the second easiest hole on the course, which I find kind of surprising. With that dangerous green and everything. Nice touch on that from yesterday. Skipping right up. Perfect. And that's it. That's a park job. Great. Maori with his putt. Not going to be the perfect start today, but also with that healthy lead he has, he doesn't need to go crazy like he did yesterday. Avoiding mistakes is mission number one for him. Daniel puts it close for the easy par. It didn't actually roll too far down. Huh? He hit one of those trees like yeah. halfway down, so that helped him a little bit. It had speed, though, to go all the way down. Certainly. Yeah, gravity in full effect. The very steep hillside. That tap in for uh, Lowry is only the second park job of the day. Followed closely by Yese's third park job of the day. The other one was Marco Vesamaki. So, great job to get it to settle up close on this one. Mm -hmm. Ma Lauri getting one closer to Maori now. Christian Kwok on hole four. And he's hitting the line so perfect there. He's skipping up to the left side of the fairway. That's such a good place to be. That's huge. Yeah. And now he's got a really perfect line there. That's about as good as it gets. Yeah, you can't do that much better. It's uh, that was a good one. Il yeah. Hong is still going with the forehand, of course. Don't see a lot of forehands here, but we might see two today. Yeah, that's shaping up pretty good. If it can fight through that last yeah. part, yeah, it does, and it slides over there. We haven't seen anybody over there on that side yet. It's gonna be interesting to see what kind of line he can find on that side. Yeah, Demu Talikainen, one of the many new prodigy players this season who has been performing exceptionally well. What is he throwing? Some kind of fast driver at least. thought I saw a two on that D, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, this sure is... Looks like, yeah. If not as good as... almost as good as uh, Christian Koxas, yeah? Five meters Fantastic. shorter, but still amazing. Two just textbook drives there. Getting that backhand to fade out a little bit at the end and kind of opening up the shot there. Maybe a little higher up on the hill and look down at it. That's good. Yeah. All the way through the gap. Some good tee shots there. Yes, a on hole three, going to the forehand. Getting it to stand Ooh, up nice. Oh, I like this. This is really good. Go all the way up there, yes. Oh, wow. Clean, just touching some leaves on the way, but not really affecting the flight that much. And he is parked yet again. What a start for Yesen Yemen and after that bogey on hole one. Yeah, a couple. Repairing perfect, it already, yeah. Perfect drives on two and three. This oh. one, the third easiest at 2.91 today. Mauri Willmann. Maybe not getting through here clean. No, that was way too high and just a little bit right, but he... He's always on the fairway, whatever he does. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's It just ends up there magically somehow. That wasn't the cleanest shot we've seen from him. Beautiful backdrop there. Look at the colors popping off on that calm lake. Summer has arrived. It's, if it can keep turning a little bit. Oh, uh, almost nice enough. Nice yeah. nice really nice. Made the cool effects with those uh, yeah. flower leaves yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. falling down. Lauri was throwing so beautifully here yesterday, and this is almost as good. Just a little bit too much turn this time. Yeah, knocked back down. Same disc, but not the perfect angle this time. As a gatekeeper, he's throwing. Juha just sent us some pictures of those park jobs on hole two, and it was a justice that Lowry that yeah. was throwing, and yes, it was throwing, and I fell on there. Okay. Great shots there. Two perfect park jobs. Mm. 
Not sure what we were seeing there. Hole three, uh, playing as the third easiest now as well today. So people are, they're starting to dial in some of these more wooded holes, finding the lines over, over the last couple of days. 2.91 average, 21% birdies, and only 11% bogeys are worse. So. Tim is trying to attack the basket from the left side of the fairway. Important thing here is not to come in too late to the green, to slide into the green rather than to land the disc too close to the basket because then it's going to be down the hill, especially from this distance. Super fast green. Throwing a distortion. Nightmare drop off all the way to the lake behind. Let's see if this. we can get this to skip right towards it. Check up. Oh, that is what oh. can happen. That was both short and maybe a little bit too I fast. I hope it curled up there and didn't find the OB, but it's all the way down to the bottom, that's for sure. It not didn't look like it picked up too much speed, so that's... Yeah, not an easy way to get back up to the basket from there. We had a nightmare roll earlier today from Jenny Karpinen rolling all the way down into the water. Super unlucky. Lauri pitching up for an easy par. Lots of action going uh -oh. on now. That's what was that? Was it Christian? It's all the way down there for sure. I think it's safe, but down on the road somewhere. Look at see. Look look what you're dealing with coming back up. It's so thick. It's so steep. So steep. Very hard to get back up to the green from there. Yeah, if you're down there, no, it wasn't Christian. It must have been uh, Nilo, then or Mikael Hamme. Here is Christian. See how far up on the fairway he was, but still tree in the way and not getting all the way to the green. Jesse Niemenen is going to tap in his second birdie of the round. At least almost a tap in. Uh, two in a row. A couple really great forehand shots there. All right for par. Daniel for par. And Maori also cleaning up for par. So yes, he's getting a stroke on the card. He is. He's keeping pace with Maori. Daniel Dove is on the only one on this card now over par. Christian is gonna try to run this to get a birdie. That was a nice and safe run though, yeah. but uh, not really that close. But you want to make sure not to get anywhere close to that hillside. That's just uh, too punishing. We saw two already rolling all the way down. Okay, there it was Nilo who was one of those discs. I was thinking it, it looked like a forehand, the way it was mm. hitting that, moving left to right there. Nilo and uh, Demo Talikainen needs to go down and first just to find their discs. That can be quite tricky down there also, but I think they should be somewhere around the road. I think they're both in a similar spot, down by those boats. Yeah. So to go out of bounds, you need to get all the way into the water. And I can't imagine those discs going all the way down there. I don't really like the sidearm play for the second shot on this hole. It, it just... No. I don't... I don't know. I don't feel like it... Uh, like it works that good, you know, with the way that it's heading that way, with the down slope and everything. And I mean, how fast the green is also. Like, yeah, you can't yeah, like get in there with, with that high speed. It's especially a driver, yeah. you know, it's just like almost guaranteeing yourself a, a skip and roll. But these guys do have incredible touch, you know, I'm sure they can work it out. It just seems pretty low percentage to me. I, I agree completely. Nilo trying to find footing and balance. It is much, much steeper than what it looks like from this angle, though. Is that, what is that disc? The Toro? Maybe. And look, it's rolling down again. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. very, it's very punishing, this, this spot on the course. One of the worst places to be. I think it was a Toro. Yeah, I think yeah. so, too. Good call. Demo. 
can barely see him. That's never a good sign. But he... No, go K. Lucky okay. there. Yeah. yeah. There's that, that small shelf that that can save you sometimes right behind the basket, but that should be possible to 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 save that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about him there, but but Nilo. Nilo is gonna get his first bogey. I think. I don't think he can make yeah, this there's, one. Yeah. There's really no chance here. I mean, there's always a, uh, some kind of chance, but I don't see a line anyway. This is just pitching up, and he's gonna get a bogey after that. Such a punishing hole if you get down that slope. Mikael Hemme, he is uh, gonna have a scary putt from up here. For birdie, though, and he needs birdies. Two over par already after three. But most important, stay away from those bogeys. And uh, he's playing smart there. He didn't feel it. He doesn't want to risk anything. If you don't feel it, you should never go for it. That's just not wise on a hole like this. Yeah, if nothing else, just to conserve your energy, because when when the disc rolls down there, you know, you, you have to go get it and get yourself all the way back. It's pretty exhausting. Incredibly steep. Let me see down there. Making good on that putt. Great save. Back on the tee here for... Lowry a little bit early. Kicks left, though. That's good. That's, that's the right way to kick if you're kicking somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's so much less punishing than the right side. Lowry with the D2. This one, 4.16 average today. 21% birdies. Putting it right there in the middle as far as difficulty goes. And he is doing what he has done all weekend long, hitting gaps. Oh, gosh. Finding the fairway, and he has about 80 meters, maybe shorter to go. That was just perfect. Yeah. In every way. It's like a jump putt. <laughs> maybe <laughs> not. A little bit longer than that, of course, but that's so good. Way up there, and it was never in any danger at any point during the flight. Daniel smashed ah, it. A lot of power Stay behind that. that. Yeah. Look at it. Go. This. He's up there. There's that 50 meter stay. Yeah. That's about as far as you can throw it on this one with, with any kind of accuracy. I think that must be the longest one we have seen so far. It has to be. Yeah. He's going aggressive now, Daniel Davidson. After a slightly slow start, I don't think, yes, this disc here is turning enough. No. It's stuck on that right side. Yeah, he's going to have to stretch out to try to find a shot there but he didn't go down much so not the worst case uh, yes yeah, so it's kind of uh, in an okay position he he has a look for the basket he needs to stretch out a little bit but but it's it's okay not not too bad okay, okay nice Good to hear him. yeah yeah he's up on that hill so maybe you can find a line over here on the right side where we see the drone flying look at this green Beautiful, but yeah. yeah, dangerous. 175 meters hole, and we saw that Daniel Davidson is up by the 50 meter stake there, so that's... Uh, yeah, and it's way uphill off the yeah. tee, so he just threw like... That was a missile. Like, yeah, it was like, that's like 130, 140 meters of power straight through a tight tunnel with a, with a distance driver. Pretty, Pretty solid. Crazy guy. S smoked that one. Lauri second shot and he has to go to that forehand now that we were talking about so uh scary shot pretty fortunate kick though yeah he's got all this wide open space for the, to work that forehand he's going too much left he's trying to come in on the back side i think he's pin high that's pretty good you can just kind of like jump put approach for the par right He's almost oh, okay. pin not, high. Not, not, yeah. yeah, maybe not quite pin high, but I think that was a good move. It's going to be an easy up and down. 
we had a lot of space there uh, along the road and just played it all the way wide. Didn't want to deal with any of those trees up the middle. I think that's pretty smart. Yeah, staying away a, from trouble. Yeah, and recognizing that he can't really attack for birdie, that he's going to have to accept the par after hitting an early tree. And he's having a good start. You don't want to ruin it then. Yep. Oh. Uh, yeah, go ahead. No, I'm just thinking about where Mauri is. But first, yes. Uh, Looking for a line together with his caddy. Do you recognize his caddy? I don't see who it is. No. I think we saw him first day, though. Seems vaguely familiar. D d d did I ask you the same question? Why do you might have done just that? <laughs> Sorry, in that case, <laughs> all you viewers who watch right day one coverage here on this golf stream. We're slightly delirious. But very happy to be here and very happy to have you all with us. So thanks for joining and feel free to join along in the live chat if there's something you want to share with us. And also, yeah, spread that link or share that link. That kicked far to the left. Juha, did you see how far that kicked? I, it's not too far. I'd say 22 meters. It's just out of, outside of circle two, and uh, it's quite close well where uh, Lowry is as well. But I would be surprised if they try to run for birdie. Probably just laying up and get the easy par. Yeah, it's such a scary green. And as we've seen, if you go down there, it'll cost you at least a stroke or two. We said that Maori was throwing far. Look where. You can, I think you can see Daniel Davidson's disc there. Both of those were just, it's just crazy. total cream jobs through the gap with serious power. This is that A5 approach, just a little low. Yeah, a little bit short. For once, he's not really getting all the way to the basket, but he wanted to make sure that he doesn't come in too fast and with too much angle. I liked the way he was throwing there, but it was just a little bit too low. Yeah, trying to match the hillside as much as possible. Oh no, look at how far up he is. Yeah, that's just crazy. Throwing a tactic here. Just a little forehand touch. Slide up to the green for... But also <laughs> left it a little bit short. A little, but a little shy. They are scared of the hillside. Of uh, They should be. Yeah, and maybe they trust their putting more than the... You know, maybe they're not too worried about those circles edge. I'm not sure. I think they wanted to get closer, obviously. Yeah, they, of course, and especially putting towards. Yeah, you don't they, want the death putt. Nah. I mean, well, you hate to go down on your approach, but then you, if you don't put it close, that's just brilliant course design right there. I mean, really using everything here in the in the hole to increase the difficulty and challenge the players, both physically and mentally. Nice little jump out approach. Oh, no, no, Are no. Come serious? on. Even when he's sliding up there, if he's going down the hill now. I think he probably did the the way it was like fully on edge like that. He's, he, he's still inside the circle. There's a small tree oh. behind the basket and it stayed there. Okay. So it's like seven meters. Okay. And I was actually completely wrong on the other distance there. They, are, they were like 30, 35 meters with the with their second shots. Okay. Yeah, Lauri able to stay up on that shelf, so he should have a tapping par. Mauri is not going to risk this. He's uh, kind of like half... Yeah, like a yeah. Little, little sort of half go at it. Quite aggressive for a layup, at least. Yeah, yeah, but not fully committed from no. his normal putt, so something in between there. Haven't seen much of that yet, but... That's a They'll sign, be happy sign to of see that. If, if yeah. he can be that aggressive with his layups uh, on a difficult hole, uh, difficult green like this. Yes, he's so lucky to catch a tree and stay up on that shelf. That was almost a disaster after. Yeah, so so. Oh, good okay, that should be no problem for him. That's a great result. I mean, the upshot was good. It just hit the pole and turned up on edge. Yeah, just he even got that slide into the, towards uh, the basket. It was That's perfect. exactly what you were, want to. Yeah, yeah. He just kind of just got so unlucky to. The the koozie kind of just 
turned the disk up vertical and had just just enough trajectory to roll over the edge there, but happy to see it check up. No. Oh, Daniel he wanted that one. But did leave it a little bit too short there with his approach. It was an opportunity to get his round back on track. and mm. He's going to be disappointed with that one. Yeah, have to be. The SA is a straddle putter anyway, so this is probably not too uncomfortable for him. No, he's, he's is, just fine here. It's a little bit weird with the footing being so uphill that it can be kind of maybe slightly straining on the calves, but he seems to have found a comfortable enough stance. Hopefully he can execute a decent putt here for the birdie, right? No, for par. Par, right. Oh, yeah, he was a little bit behind that stuff and after the first one. Yeah, yes. that was uh, looking easy enough for Yesen Yemenen. As you said, he is a straddle putter in most cases, so he's used to that stance. Very good putt there, and uh, easy par from Maori. So we're getting a par frame then on hold four from the lead card. Yeah, it averaged 4.15, so not really losing strokes of the field or anything, but... And also no birdies on the chase card, right? No. Okay, so this this hole providing a lot of difficulty for the top of the field today. 20% getting the birdie overall. And we're going to the shortest hole on the course, hole five. Not as easy at, as it sounds, like 67 meters, but it's very steep uphill. And uh, these players are probably going to throw maybe uh, an approach disc or a mid-range or something and want to slide up that hill a little bit up towards the basket. And uh, yeah, what kind of scores do we have here? Uh, it's the easiest hole on the course today at 2.72. Okay. We got exactly 50% of the field birdie in it, so that's pretty solid. They have they it figured out. Yeah, they've dialed it in over the course of the weekend and we got, a, I guess, Got that mound up there. The closer, the better on this one. Can be a little bit scary to putt if you're, you know, yeah, if further you, away. If you're not up the hill and you need to putt, you could potentially get a really high score here if you if you're not accurate enough with your putting. Yes, in Yemen and going with, I think that is a harp. Yeah, and this is he's the only guy I think that we know of throwing this forehand line on this hole. It's such a Backhand friendly hole, but he makes it work with that harp turnover. Gets it just outside the circle. Parked it last time, first first day anyway. But that's crazy what he does with those forehand shots. Working the angles and trusting the disc, getting late turn on him and everything. Lauda with a savior. Yeah, playing like closer to 100 meters, being as uphill as it is. And Lauri that's is great. smooth here. He is sliding it up the hill, just like we said. And he's going to have an, another easy birdie. We're starting to see the old Lauri Lechteren now. It's, uh, it's looking very good from him today. Yeah. He doesn't have the eyes yet, but he's just getting started. Yeah, yeah, that takes time. Looking more casual today, that's... Maori with a really nice one, trying to skip it up. Oh, it I just stopped when it, yeah. It skipped a little early, hit, hit that tree, actually, yeah. Okay, that's what happened. Yeah. yeah, it skipped up and caught a tree and rolled back towards the OB, but luckily, safe. I don't think that's going to be a birdie, though. Oh, that's... And, uh... I don't... Yeah. No? Compared to what we saw yesterday from Maori, this is a bit of a slow start. Yeah. Luckily, he can't afford it, but... Uh, Look at this. It's going to have to start soon. Ball oh, skip yeah. in, oh, that oh, could be stop. bad. He's getting some claps. Juha, what happened to Daniel Davidson's disc there? Uh, I actually just stopped. It rolled on the left side. The claps were for the uh, next hole where the chase card is, is teeing off. Not sure what happened there, but yeah. I think he's in uh, maybe 30 meters from the basket. Definitely not a birdie. Okay. Oh. At all. Unlucky. Looked, looked like good. A great we heard shot. some claps. Yeah, Maybe it, it was from the next hole we heard claps then. Yeah, it definitely was. And Temo Talikain and cut rolls all around and almost back to the tee pad. Not really, but it was not the best result there. Lost a lot of distance on that one. Mikkel Hamme 
struggling today. Two over par after the first five holes. Now with a great shot here on six. Clean forehand. Weird tree But kick. a good kick. I don't got, think it hurt. No, he got some extra middle, distance yeah. with that. Yeah, that's fine. Got like a long straight shot up to the basket. Ah, but brutal for Daniel Davidson then. Very unfortunate after what looked like a really good shot. It looked like it almost hit the pole. It kind of skipped up there, but maybe just had just a tiny bit too much speed to really stay put up there. Throwing so good, but still doesn't have any birdies. He's not going to get one here. We said the same about Yalta Jensen, though, but he was 15 meters from the basket when he had a highlight here round one. I think this is, yeah, a little this bit different. Is, this is too long. He's just going to try to slide it up the hill. That's good. Oh, and this time it stays. Sea line tactic. It's gotta be Maui, right? Yeah. I think so. Or is Maori inside circle? I thought he had rolled back a little ways. Yeah, I thought so too, but if Yes, in Yemen and is Paddy. Yeah, it's marked as in. No, putting for par. We must have missed a shot then. Okay, he must have laid up quickly yeah. when we missed it. He is quick too. He doesn't <laughs> overthink his shots. Oh, yeah, there. I think yeah. we see. That's his disc right next to the basket. Yeah. It's going to be a tapping par for him then. Opportunity for Lowry to close the gap a little bit. Yeah. Yes, he's a little bit back. But also an opportunity, I mean, to get a stroke back on him at least. He's not taking that opportunity this time. It was a little bit too long, but it should be a par at least. Not losing any strokes to Maori. Pretty good effort. Heavy chains, left side. But Lauri Lechten is going to be two steps closer already after five holes. That's what he needed. Yeah. Just slowly start closing that gap, put a little bit of pressure on Maori, make him have to execute. And we know how dangerous Lauri Lechten is when he starts to smell blood and... Uh, Getting getting closer and he's feeling it more and more, then that's a dangerous player to have behind you. Yeah, and if he is able to track down Maori, that could be perhaps one of the biggest wins of his career, just given how hot Maori is right now, you know, to just show that he's mortal and that Maori's still a fierce competitor. That would be a huge statement. Yes, in Yemen and one under par after five holes. Right now tied with Christian Kuoksa, who is three down after five holes. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. That's a very good start. That's the best start of all the players in the top. Com together with Laura Lechten and now, they have the exact same scorecard. Birdie on one, two, and five. Interesting. And we're still over par for the round. Also interesting to see Temo Talikainen only pars so far. That's kind of a surprise. Yeah, you usually see him score. We saw him miss that relatively short putt on three. Here is the chase card with Christian Kuoksa, with Mikael Hamme, with Temo Talikainen and Nilo Hongisto. Seems like... Uh, Nilo Hongisto is about to throw first. And he is throwing his second from a very good spot on the fairway with his forehand. Looks like that Toro again. It says fourth, but that is not no. the case. This is the yeah. second. Yes, 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 yes. That's going to be close. Oh, my almost goodness. Almost, almost in the basket. <laughs> almost an eagle. Skipped in and hit the cage. Checked up inside circle. Mm. What an amazing approach. The highlights are starting to roll in now. And it's great to watch Nilo Hongis. We haven't seen him on camera yet this year, so he's just been out there kind of a little bit under the radar, not able to quite get on coverage, but still putting in good results. and. Real, real joy to watch him lurking forehand. in the shadows, and yeah. now he's coming out in the sun. That was crazy, man. Almost skipped it up in there. That's it's such a 
well-guarded green, you know, to get in there and not just in there, but to give it a chance like that, that's stellar. get to see it again how close was it this is a better camera angle maybe that's a perfect skip and that was very 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 close Quoxa how oh, this is a birdie putt from circle two Catches something on the way there, so it's going to be a par for Christian Koxa. Still three down through six, then, so it's a good start. Eka Kofi, seven down through nine. This guy keeps doing amazing things. We, we, yeah, we have seen that name a lot. We've been shouting him out constantly, it feels like. Every time there's a like a really unlikely park job or, or uh, birdie, he's the guy, <laughs> seems like. He's a local dude, too, from Helsinki, huh? That's right. I don't actually know him at all. Either. I don't recognize him. He's getting it done today, though. Mikael Hammer for his birdie. Would be the first one for his round, but it looks like he's closer than he is. It's marked circle two. Yeah, I think he's just outside. Yeah. And he gets it. That's great to see, Mikael Hammer. Yeah, nice one. Getting a birdie. He's looking <laughs> not his happiest. He's not a man of big emotions, but <laughs> we usually see a smile on his face when he gets those birdies. He's yeah, he's <laughs> not yet. No, not uh, not in the best mood, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Mutalikainen gets his first birdie, right? He, no, that was a par. So six pars in a row for Temo Talikainen. He's not happy with that that i can promise you that's no but i mean bogey free is great but he's yeah. here he's here for birdies and as many of them as he can get nino getting a birdie almost the eagle man that would have been uh, like the eagle this hole you know that's that's almost unheard of that I, would be crazy uh, i wonder if it has ever happened i'm sure it has at some point but but in competition i uh, wonder yeah i'm not sure Christian getting a par, and now we get to see the lead card teeing off on hole six. That's just such a well-guarded green, it's kind of hard to imagine anybody getting it in for the throw-in, but that was that was how you would do it, potentially, there. Nilo just showing us some serious precision with that forehand. Tavi Makala also having a pretty good day. Five down through nine, bogey-free. Tavi. Do you know who he is? Nope. I wonder if he's related to Fine. I still don't know. If you know anything about Tavi and his potential relation, <laughs> relation to Vaina, let us know in the comments or the live chat, should I say? Could that be arrived maybe or something slower? Could be the honor. That's hard to see. Ooh. Oh, that so could smooth. be trouble, ah. but it settles. It's a little wide, and yeah. it got chopped down early. Luckily, it didn't kick anywhere, though. It just came straight down. Yes, he's bringing his big guns here, the stiletto. That's an old, trusty one. Yeah, he does really cool stuff with these. Super fast and overstable driver. Look at the rim on that guy. Flat as a board. Is it a... 14 speed or 13 or something, something like, like that. that, yeah. One of the more overstable discs that exists, but that has been in his bag for many, many, many years. And uh, you can see how well he controls that disc. Right in the center. Now they're going with the D2. And uh, it's not the same Audi as we saw yesterday. Can he get pumped up here on hole six. He looks calm and collected and uh, doesn't look worried at least. It's a little wide but it fights through really nicely. Not able to navigate this tunnel to perfection but still far up the fairway. Yeah. yeah a bit tricky second shot to oh, get to Not the too bad place. Yeah. Not too bad place. 
is able to get to the green from there. Okay, okay. Must be some kind of opening there. A Ooh, roller from Daniel. Daniel. That's a way to get an eagle here. He's uh -oh, getting squares up that tree. Far up. Fan finds the other side of the tree. What do you think of that position, Johan? Uh, he could try to for an eagle, like a throwing eagle. <laughs> but uh, really good place. Really good spot. Yeah, nice roller. Demo in on hole seven, the par five, the longest hole on the course, way high, and uh, he was going for big distance there. Gets through and is far up the fairway. Does some course maintenance, loses a little bit of speed as the branch falls, but still gets a lot of distance. Yeah, he was going full power there. That D two. This is. I'm worried about this one. That's gonna go out of bounds. No, or is that on the fairway? Am I? I think that's good. That was the safe spot, yeah. Yeah. It's hard, hard to tell yeah. on this one when the, with the white stakes, it's you, the camera angle. You can't often tell. Yeah. This is then also going, probably going for that same spot. Yes, he is. Yeah. That'll do just fine. We saw an eagle from Christian Quoxa here yesterday. Do we get to see the same thing? This is a smash this at least. This is absolutely huge. Wow, yep. he's, he's going for that eagle again, absolutely. He's going to try. Few players in the world can match his distance. If he can do it two days in a row. A few players in the world can match his smooth distance. I, I, I really like the timing of that Nilo Hangisto forehand. He's got like some moments where he like slows down everything and like really kind of loads up the power and just kind of like gets way back with it. It's, it's just pretty unique form. I haven't seen anybody do it quite like that. And working so well for him. Yeah. So powerful. But then precise as well. Like he seems to be a master of the angle. Now they're not able to nail that second shot. So still some work to do. Daniel Davidson, do we get to see a throwing eagle? But not him first, Mauri Willemann. This one averaging 4.31, just 15% getting birdies. 36% bogey or worse, yeah. Long, beautiful par four. Did you see what that was? Deep. No, that's a difficult one to. A bit old stamp. Could be. And, uh,. Technical shot required to get to the green. He, oh. for once, he hits an early tree and uh, is gonna have to try to save a par instead. And he was maybe going for a little bit too much there. That is not not a good place, and uh, it's about 60 meters from the basket. And it, it's, I'm not quite sure what he can even do from there. So par is uh, actually a good save. Yeah, he's kind of. If he can get a par. Yeah, yeah, he's a little bit pinched up too far on the right. It's good to be on the right side if you're a little further back, but when you're that close, it just kind of closes off the airspace and the angle. Yes, he should be able to get up and down from here. This this is like the sweet spot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, especially with his forehand. It's, it's that this is just where you want to be. Yeah, the same that he was throwing on hole two. It's going to flex it a little bit. That's a very he's straight fellow. Yeah. yeah, or straight. Sometimes it's straight. <laughs> yeah, he skips it up there. Park job. Great job, yes, in Yemen. And you haven't given up on this. Of course, it's far to reach Mauri Willmann, but. A lot to play for, even if it's not for the win, though. I definitely. Mean, get up on yeah, and it's, it's still not Daniel's turn to throw. Daniel's, uh, Daniel is even closer than Mauri. Okay, still. really? From his first shot? Didn't yeah. understand that it was yeah, that far up. Okay, that roller was yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah, uh, it's pretty, pretty close to the 50 meter mark. I'd say 58. Meters. Okay, interesting. Is that the A5 is throwing? Yeah, he's really leaning on this for the forehand approach game, isn't he? You see that disc next to the basket time and time again. Trying to get up and down for par then. He doesn't get that many That's bogeys. Good. If he gets the skip the right oh, direction. Oh, he hit that tree and rolled. Did it roll down? 
That's a pretty unlucky reaction. It looked like it was skipping up towards towards a park job, and instead it caught a tree and rolled. Didn't didn't see it all through, but the, it looked like it went deep inside the bushes there. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's what I was afraid of. That's looking like a potential bogey for Maori, and now if Lowry can uh, get himself a decent score here, we're going to have a pretty close game now. And Daniel Davidson going to get a birdie. He's going to get his first birdie of the day. I can't imagine him missing that. That was an MD5, I think, he was throwing. Back to the justice for Lowry. If he can put it close for par, maybe put a little pressure on Maori. Not easy, though, from here. This is pretty tight. Tight shot with a tricky green. Very well guarded basket. Oh, he's going wide. Way wide. Catches some branches and somewhere there. Circles there. Weird. You, how did you see Ma uh, Lauri's shot? Uh, I am not 100% sure. Like, does he have a clear, clear side to the basket? It is close. I'd say six, seven meters, but there might be a branch, some branches between. And okay. we're seeing Christian Koxa trying to go for the eagle again. And he is not far from it, but not as close as yesterday. I don't think he is going to get it two days in a row. Yeah, not quite as good as yesterday, yeah. but still pretty impressive to be that far up after two. I mean, you know, worst case from there, you can just lay it up for an easy birdie. And uh, he got the birdie on day one. So if he gets an easy birdie today, he would be four down on that hole after three rounds. Wow. That's good. Birdie, eagle, birdie. He could try to run it, though, for... If he wants it, yeah. that would be an insane highlight. And it wouldn't maybe be too bad for him to get it, because where is he right now? I don't think I'm blind. There he is. Yeah, he would then be up together with Daniel Davidson. See if Maori's going to try to throw this in. I think so. Okay. He was definitely trying. Cut Is he trying for a little bit too much right now? I think he's just maybe a little slightly off compared to what we have seen him. He's still like, you know, one under par through the front six. Well, no, that's, no, that's, gonna that's be a bogey. Yeah, even that's going to put him back to even. That's six strokes lower than yesterday. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely a little bit different. Uh, mode of operation here today but he's opening the door for the players behind that's true look this yeah. is still a little bit of work i mean uh, of course i trust him from this distance but he's definitely uh, making it a little bit harder on himself that's per such perfect that's, putt. that's silly how easy it looks i, it's I just love his putting style it's it's like you press a button and then the yeah uh, uh, uh. it's so routine isn't it for him like it just looks completely comfortable to stab it right in the heart that repeatedly. was Circle's edge and like yeah. They look like tap ins, don't they? Yeah. They're just, they're just straight in the middle. This is a chance for Lowry to get one back on him at least. Draw within two uh two, yeah. Mm hmm Things can happen quickly. Yeah. Nice okay. be two strokes behind Lechtinen and Willman. I think La uh, Maori is looking forward to get out in the open now on the on the next hole. Few too many trees here for his taste. What a difference a day makes. Yeah. So I mean, six for six, and then par through six. Night and day. And finally, a birdie for Daniel Davidson. He is also at even par, just uh, completely opposite of Maori Willman. Getting a birdie on hole six, where Maori is getting a bogey. And the other way around on hole one. Oh, that's interesting. Justin Yemenen able to get a... That was a birdie, yeah. Yeah. Now I got confused for a while. He almost skipped it in for eagle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't quite as close as Nilo's, but it, it was it had the flare and had the height off the skip there. Moving on to hole seven, the par five. 271 meters, the longest one. We know it's possible to eagle it. We saw it from Christian Quoxa yesterday, but the fairway is tight. There is a lot of OB, both on the left and the right side. Then we come to the final third part of the hole, where we have some trees on the right side. 
and uh, then it turns quite sharply around this basketball field and the basket is up on that little ridge or little mound which uh, has OB behind so it's a scary one yeah long dangerous hole attackable for eagle like we've seen from the biggest arms but then it can uh it can cause lots of problems too it's the fifth most difficult on the course today at 5.45 21 percent birdies 39 percent bogey or worse so and no eagle even from christian quoxa today okay he got the birdie just like demo talikain and did as well Mikael hammer got a par there and nilo hongisto as well you can see them on the leaderboard there they're all still in the top 10 even Mikael hammer with that slower round nobody's really shredding it are they up there on the top i mean seven through nine of course from from echo but he's he started out a little bit lower so Christian Quoxa is having a really good pace, though. Uh, four yeah, four yeah. down through seven, and Lauri Lechten and three four, uh, through six. But Eka Kölhi, that's... That's amazing, yeah. Got a par now on hole nine. Or is that Eleven. hole ten? Ten, yeah. yeah. Ten. Jesse Niemenen is going to try to find that safe spot, I believe. Or could actually go for more. He's looking high left, though, so no. A stiletto. Looks like, a, looks like a bailout. Yeah. Right side. He's going for the safe spot, the biggest part of the fairway. Yep. Not risking anything. I like that play, it's high percentage. Do you think this guy is going to smash? He sure can. I think he's took just that. What could be his, what he's throwing? Mm. It's mm. a fairway. Oh, he's smashed on it, you're right. Look at this thing. Just flies. He loves it. And it flies so far up. He just turned his back right away and we knew it was right where it needed to be. Yeah, and I, I don't think that was even a distance driver. It was just controlled distance with yeah. the fairway. He's got some great power. Now it is also going for the safer shot. Forehand with the overstable fairway, I guess. Very similar to Yesis. Yep. Right next to it. And Mauri's gonna do the same thing. He is not gonna take any big risks right now when he's maybe not feeling as good as yesterday. I think that's smart. It's interesting though, because from his expressions, he doesn't look any different, does no, he? No, <laughs> you never see any any emotions from this guy. He's just uh, stone face that's Terminator. A, that's a big strength though yeah. for a competitor to not show any emotion or weakness like that. Like, especially in disc golf, where you're kind of like you really are directly kind of playing with the guys on or playing against the guys on your card you know when, when they can see that he's not stressed or worried even when he's even when it's not going down like it like it has been all year he, he knows it eventually I can, will. Uh, I can I can tell that uh, Daniel Daniel's shot was with uh, C line the uh, FD3 okay and wow it's might be beating. about 140 meters wow to the that's, try, that's a good shot. Try to throw that and get it to stand oh up like Daniel Davison did. That was close one from Temo Talikainen. That was incredibly close. Sorry, but that, yeah, that was, yeah, that, that was flash chains. Nilo Hong is still going wide. Is it too wide? I think it's no, great. No, that's going. This could go in. Go in. Go in. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh. no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> when are we going to get? <laughs> couple really good ace runs there on hole eight. And Mikael Hammer just does not feel it right now and he's showing some frustration i think he was i think we, we heard a sound there and i think that came from him no not going for it he had such a great he was in the lead after day one yesterday was not good at all and he's just not finding it today i wonder if he's feeling all right Solid putt from Christian, 
Another birdie, and he's five down through eight. Timo Talikainen almost throwing it in. He's having a circle one look at this. Ah. No, doesn't seem to be his day. I think if he wants to climb, he's going to have to change something. He's having a hard time scoring, isn't he? Mm -hmm. That was just a little bit off on the putt. Almost an ace and then unable to make good on the comeback. Or this was also a close one. Neil Hongisto is two down so far. And now he's a three down. Nicely played. Mikkel Hamer. Not so good though. And he's gonna be getting a par here most likely. But taking time here from there, he is um, he's annoyed. Good putt there. But yeah, he seems to be a little bit on his head. Yeah. It's not the normal Mikael Hammer we're seeing. He's usually yeah, he's usually got in like control and uh, yeah, kind of smiling yeah. or it's almost it's not really smirking, but it's kind of like a sh like a little bit of a sneaky smile. Smirking is a, it's a good, good yeah, it's <laughs> close. Like it's yeah. a nice form of smirking. Yeah, smirking. yeah, yeah it can be it can have a negative connotation sometimes, but the way he does it, it's very friendly and likable. Yeah. Not too bad. At all here. Very good. So far up. Way up there in the clear. Yeah, that's gonna. I don't think he got too close to the fence there, so he can get up and down for a birdie. I think he can just jump putt under the basket. Yeah. Okay, if he has a. If yeah. He, yeah, that, that should like be doable. He's, he's got a pretty good range with his, his jump putt approach. I think he's only about 40 meters from the basket or less, maybe 35. Mm. I think he's got that for the jump putt approach game. I'm seeing something on the scorecard. I'm not sure if we are live now or these are recorded shots. Let's see what Daniel Davidson does. I think we missed one from Maori. Let's watch this first and then we can ask Juha. Is he going to try to get an eagle? Can this get a big skip? Yeah, it can, but not all the way there. So it's going to be an easy up and down still. Juha, can you tell us what happened to Mauris? Uh, here, we, we get to see it now, so please don't spoil it for us. Uh, sorry, I didn't I didn't catch uh, Mauris shot. There was some technical stuff I made of, of that time, but I can tell that we Lauri is on circle two. And we're he getting... Can, uh, just yeah, okay, you're getting the replay. Yeah, yeah. we just got to see the Mauris shot, and he ended up out of bounds. Ah, as we can see okay. there. Okay, that's what you were seeing on the scorecard. Interesting. He's a little bit vulnerable right now. We haven't seen this from Maori Vilman all year long. No, yet. this is a this is a new situation. Something we didn't expect to see at all. He's Sorry, did you have something more to say there, Juha? Now you can uh, you can tell us. Uh, yeah, Laura is there, uh, quite close to the fence on circle two, so he can just uh, lay up under the basket with a putt and take an easy birdie. Yep. And with that, I think Laura is going to be up there tied with Maori. If very likely. I didn't see that coming to, that close, to close the gap that quickly. I mean, Laura was five behind. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. We were like, yeah, he wasn't even in second place, was he? No, Daniel Davison was in second place, and Laura was, was 12, one. Yeah. 12 down, yeah, 17, yeah, five, five stroke disadvantage coming in, and he's already closed the gap. But we, we have a battle. Definitely. We got a long way to go with some legendary holes upcoming. But Maori could get up and down from here, though. And then he would still be one, leading one with stroke, one. Yeah. yeah. But is he going to get up and down from here? He might. Where did it end up? You, how you got eyes on that Maori approach? Uh, he's just out outside of circle one. Okay. I'd say. Kind of out of my reach. Right in his range, <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
But still, it's tight now. We thought he he would run away with this. But that's not going to happen. Lauri Lehtinen is out to play today. And and Maori's just a little bit off. Yeah, yeah not, it, not it, a lot. It's it, not, yeah, it's not like anything scary or anything like... It's just kind of, he's not really capitalizing on all the opportunities and maybe just a little bit off on some of the shots. And yes, and yes, Yemen and is warming up now also. That was, without that bogey on hole one, he has been playing great. That's a tap-in birdie, right? Yeah. He just played that hole really well. Slightly irritated on him, David, and it feels like that's almost when he's the best. And he's a little bit annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> like I could actually even add that Lauri could run for, for an eagle with a hyzer putt, but probably doesn't. It's kind of a scary. He, he has a kind of, uh, yeah, kind of outlook there. Okay, okay, so he is deep in circle two. I don't think this is the right time to take such risks for Lauri Lechten and with OB behind the basket. Yeah, and if he can just get the birdie and put some pressure on Maori, I think that's a way smarter thing to do now. He's kind of going at it. Yeah. No, smart layup there, yeah. But yeah, really, really good from Lowry to get up there in two shots. He's got great, great distance, doesn't he? Forehand and backhand. He has it all. Yeah, he, he's he, the complete disc golfer, isn't he, he? Yeah, it's just a matter of time before he's top 10 player in the world. He could be that at any day. I think he's 30th right now, but yeah. he's, he's been so inactive for almost, you know, the last eight or nine months, right? So Yeah, he stalled a little bit there with his injury, and he had something really good going there at the last year. Thought he would be a fierce contender for Worlds, but that's when the injury came last year. That's right, he didn't, didn't even compete there. Maori, to save the par and stay in solo lead. Yeah. Oh yeah. The putting isn't That's not a problem. Isn't clicking yet. That's that's just that's automatic. So good. Yeah. That's automatic even when he's having an off day apparently. <laughs> so he's still going to be in the lead in the solo lead. But only one ahead of Lauri Lehtinen. Only Davidson very solid birdie there. He's there. He's got two in a row now. Six and seven, and one down for the round. Lauri Lechten and four down through the round for the round. Having a great day. Yeah, he's currently rated 30th in the world on UDisc. Uh, like I said yesterday, Maori Vilman not yet ranked in the UDisc world ranking. So I'm very curious to see where he will be put when he is entered into that. Like, is he going to be the top-rated European, or is he going to be like, do they? It'll be curious. I mean, I'm curious to see. Yeah, it'll be interesting to. That's going in the water for Christian Quoxa. Yeah. Nilo Hongestone, we get a good look at his forehand form here. And not the line I was expecting, but, but that's playing a, this for par. That's a, that's a good way to play it, mm. though. I mean, we see a lot of people taking bogeys and stuff. Yeah, you, if you. It's a way to mitigate a lot of the risk. I mean, if, you know. Tamo's going after it wide. Yeah, if he is, he's going to try to go all the way around. If he can get that road skip, he's in great shape. Yeah, he is sneaking in. That yes. should be inbounds. Yeah, it is just outside yeah. the circle with a birdie look. Sweet, sweet line there and uh, just inbounds. Yeah, that was high and wide. Came back just in time. This is looking pretty good. If he can get to the gap. Uh, this is where it all broke down for him yesterday uh, and I hope we don't get to see something similar today. I hope we can see someone make that putt. That's one of the coolest yeah. putts you can make, I think, from across that pond for the par save. Like that's it just it's beautiful with the landscaping and everything. Like you know, hitting a twenty twenty five meter putt over over a pond. Dream stuff here. Let's see if we can do it right now. No, 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 not even close. A little too much hyzer and height. Yep. Back yes. on the tee of eight. Yes, in Yemen. And Can we get an ace here? He's got that stiletto. Forehand master. We can just skip that one in there. Taking time. 
Taking a long time. You can do that sometimes. Looks really good though. It's tracking. Yeah. Skip. No, oh. no. Those trees are so punishing there with that wide forehand route. Daniel Davison is trying to try to go the same line, but hopefully avoiding the tree. Shaking his head there, yes, in Yemen, and he's frustrated. Oh, this is a little bit straighter. Does it get around? Nope. Drops dead there, 50 meters from the basket. Is it even in bounds? I think so. It, it is in bounds. Okay, exactly. good. I think it's Enforcer that Laudy is throwing here. Overstable distance driver. Yeah. Pretty smooth. Yeah, quite okay. Oh, not bad at all. Parked after almost dunking it for the ace. And pressure on Maori now. Yeah, that, that, that was a close one. <laughs> yeah, I like the speed how it just kind of was dropping on the skip like it could have just landed in the bucket. Maori needs to put this close now, or at least around circle's edge. There, Then we know that he's going to get it to stay in solo lead. I think this is good. It is good. I was, I was. Uh oh. Oh, okay, okay. That was checked great. Up, checked up. I was a little worried about that OB coming into play, but it settled up nice. That was also close. Yeah. yeah very close. Let's get a replay of that. Lowry letting a near skip in. Just a pure line all the way. Beats those trees easily and catches edge right on point. Just a little bit short. Yeah. Just a little bit short. Yeah, but but really close. Lauri is feeling it. He uh, yeah, this he this smells the blood. He uh, his uh, predator out there. Could be his his uh, comeback win that he's been dreaming of for the last you know well all the way through the dark off season where he wasn't even sure if he was gonna get to play again. The injury was pretty serious. Yeah. It's almost a year he has been like, yeah. or at least like nine months that he has been hasn't been, yeah, really yeah. active. Here's Daniel with his approach. Oh yes, nicely done. Right there, that's no problem at all. That sea line tactic is right next to the basket. Yeah, make sure you. Uh, Share the link and tell them what's happening here. We got an exciting battle taking place. Some of the best in Europe. Battling it out here in Nokia. Legendary course. Perfect weather. It's all free here on YouTube. Share it with your friends and family and anybody you know that likes to watch live sports. And if you really like what you're seeing, head on over to discgolfstream.com or download the app and you can follow us along with all the live streams every uh, european pro tour event and the european championships finnish nationals in finnish language only i have a good feeling about this no it's fading up a little bit early mm. a little bit work left there nine meters coming back but yeah so get your subscription and you can watch it all the exciting action And yeah, it's lining up to be a battle between Lauri Lechtinen and uh, Mauri Willmann with Daniel Davidson right behind and also Jesse Niemann lurking. So these players on the lead card are still in somewhat control of the those four top spots. Yeah, they're, they're still the main contenders. And are you kidding me? We're we not making a putt that hasn't happened in... Yeah. yeah, yeah, he missed a couple yesterday on hole nine, but that was about it. And uh, now we have a tie at the top, most certainly. I Lauer's can't, tapping can't, in. Yeah, yeah, I can't see him he missing that one. Yes, uh, yeah, as you said, some work left to do still, and he's taking time. I felt like he had the previous one. That's... I'm not so sure it is. He's definitely slowed his routine down a little bit. I'm not sure what's... Ah, just making sure to yeah. 
to get them. Good putt there. And he's still three down through s through eight now. Lowry, okay, he is now that that shouldn't be any problem. That's just five meters. There you go, and he has share. caught up with Mauri Willman now. Share the lead. Lauri Lechtenen and Mauri uh, Willman. I, yeah. I have to say that the uh, Mauri showed some emotion. Okay. I could clearly see that he's frustrated. So we, uh, after the putt, so you could read his body language that he's frustrated and he's... I also noticed that he's all, always uh, checking his phone all the time so probably looking for the scores like yeah so he, he knows where they are okay he's getting stressed maori this uh he can this feel, is exciting yeah. yeah he can feel lowry breathing down his neck and that's, that's what lowry needed to do yeah. you know that's what we were just saying we were saying got to put someone's got to put the pressure on him otherwise it's just going to be a walk in the park but now he's feeling that pressure and now we're coming to hole nine we saw big things happening here yesterday daniel davidson has uh, bad memories of this hole Lots of players had problems with this one yesterday. Who can score here? Feels like this is going to be some. There's going to be some score separation here on hole nine. There usually is. Yeah, it's uh, one of one of the toughest holes on the course. Second most difficult today at 3.68 average. Only five percent getting the birdie. Nilo Hongisto throwing a sweet one here on hole ten. That's a very good shot. If you're throwing a forehand, you can't get so much further up. Demo Talikainen. He's going to also try with the forehand. But that a little overcooked. Not the best effort. Wonder if that even came out. Hope so. Yeah. Because there is OB over there. So, yeah. Kvokta is throwing the hunter. And he's playing well. Yeah, he is. He just took a bogey on nine, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> True. But he was. But still, four down. That's a, that's a good pace. It's good on the front nine. And this is overturned as well, a little bit. Are they? Oh, kicks oh, out. Oh, that's great. Kicks out, luckily. The moose doesn't want to stay in the forest. Nope. He likes it out in the... Or the hunter. Yeah. <laughs> well, he should be hiding in the forest. Yeah, that's right. Or wait. We do have one park job back on hole nine. You got any guesses who it might be? Uh, no, I can't think of. You want a clue? Yeah. Swedish? Emanuel Bengt. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> that's great. How is he doing today? He played uh, pretty good yesterday. I don't know. One down. Okay. Playing clean. One bogey and two pars. Two bogeys and one. Or no, yeah, two no. birdies and one par. <laughs> No. Or wait, what did you... One bogey and two birds. birdies. Yeah. <laughs> been a very are long we, weekend. Are we <laughs> surviving here? <laughs> We're completely delirious. Oh, that putt just missed. Yeah. Left. Uh, and he's tied for 10th, Emanuel Banks. He's having a great week. Yeah, he really has. Okay. He's not scoring a ton today, but to get that bonus birdie park job on nine, that's that's a highlight. That's bragging rights. That, that's him right there, isn't it? Yeah, that's Emanuel Banks for you. Hasn't had a big uh, top finish since Jarva last year. That was a surprise. That was a storybook fairy tale. But it also shows what kind of capacity he has, what he's available, what he, what he, what we can expect to see from him. Maybe yeah. in a few years, he's still very young. He's got a very high ceiling, doesn't yeah. he? He's already proved it. Yeah. You know, on cam. Pretty impressive. Lauri Lechtinen already now up in the lead. Tied with Mauri Willman is gonna try to avoid the pond. He's gonna try to avoid all the OB. He's gonna try to get up to the green, but it's not easy. That enforcer ain't going. Whoa! So high. <laughs> what a what crazy line! Is he trying to do here? Is he trying to is spike it in? Uh, I think uh, the head headwind kind of got him. Lifted it. Board. Okay. But, and yeah. where did it end up? Uh, it is safe. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, probably he doesn't have a look. I'm not sure about that, but he's safe. Safe. Okay. Well, that's it, a par here. That's is, a is bonus good. on this yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, you, any, anything safe on this roll, you're more than happy, really. Yes, sir. He, he was able to get 
uh, with the backhand. Yeah, with his backhand, he's got the road skip and kept it low with his bull. See if he's in a similar line. I think he is. This might be a little earlier. Yeah, though. that's gonna go in the water. Skip. Oh, oh, no. oh what a go <laughs> on. <laughs> ah, that's cool. That's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you're skipping over the water. That's not the most high percentage line, but uh, got away oh, with whatever. it. Whatever, <laughs> whatever works for you. And it's not uh, easy to do. Yeah, hang on. Good move on that one. Don't you love it, Sundan? Is that the FD3 again or something faster? I don't see. Doesn't matter. P He's gonna smash on it, whatever it is. PD2, maybe. Yeah. That's going around. We saw what he did yesterday. Uh, he's not trying the same thing again. Maybe uh, he should OB, have. OB, OB, yeah. Uh, I wonder if he crossed in up there. I don't think he did. No. I think he's, he's gonna, gonna be gonna completely have to... obstructed yeah. over there. Hard to get up and down even for the bogey. And Maori. We heard that he was checking his phone. He knows that he's not in solo lead anymore. His pressure is only at even par after eight holes. And he had problems yesterday. Double bogey here. Oh, that I looks like that it's out of bounds, yeah, I isn't think it? So. I mean, I, I don't see how that's ever going to land in bounds. Is that, is no, that, was, that was gone right from the start, wasn't it? This is the first time this year that we're seeing Mauri Willman in trouble. Yeah, yeah Ma Mauri has a look. It's a look far. Uh, and uh, yeah, Lauri is safe. Daniel... This, I, I will say that he, there's no chance for a par for him. It's all totally obstructed. Yeah. The putt from the other side of the pond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what we were, we thought. Quaxa here on hole 10. Yeah, lot of leaves. And all the way up to 10, to 10's basket. And he is going to have an easy birdie there. He's got like immeasurable power, doesn't he? Like. And watch out for Christian Kwoksa. He's going to be at five down. And he's going to be tied with Jesse Niemenen, maybe. But Jesse has a birdie look. Exciting things going on on the course now. Mikael Hemme not having his best day. Didn't have his best day yesterday either. But he can lean on that great hot round from day one. That's a good throw. But Ooh, I hope it didn't there. skip deep in there. He was in there yesterday, so... He's familiar with the spot. He likes that bush. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lowry is he is safe. He's doesn't have a high percentage putt, but if he can lunge forward and get get somehow enough height under it, underneath that low ceiling, there is a is an opportunity here to take a solo lead now. But he is Oh, he not gave it a good bid though. Yeah. I like the effort. He's Just not making that one. Definitely trying for it. Well, let's see if uh, Maori can stay in that tie for the lead. Maori is going to have to make this one to still be in the lead. He has been there for so long time. He's been there like the whole season, it feels like. Mm -hmm. Not really, but but most of the time he has actually been in the driver's seat. Yeah. Lauri is maybe finally back to the highest level. It looks like Daniel's found a way to get up and down at least. Nice touch on that. Mm, he gave it a somewhat of a chance. Yeah, we have been missing Lauri Lehtinen when he has been gone. He is the kind of player that we want to have up there. It's, yeah, it's so exciting. He's a really fierce competitor and then of course just inhabits all the skills and all the professionalism, really great role model. Yeah, very, very nice guy. And uh, so competitive when he gets fired up. You feel almost scared standing close to him, just watching him. It's, uh, it's yeah. something special. Yeah, he's got a, a really special combination. Ooh, Maori, almost, but we're gonna have an outright lead now for Lauri Lettinen. Not in any way unsportsmanlike. No, no, but, no, but yeah, quite the opposite. Yeah, really. if you haven't seen him before, it might sound like we are like if things about. No, him. but but he's is, just. Uh, these are all compliments. Yeah, this is uh, this is what it takes to win. You got to have a deep self belief. And that's what Lowry has, and then you have to have that drive, you know, to put it into action, actually manifest those wins, and it's exactly. 
Guys. There you go. Sweet jump putt. Sweet birdie for Yasin Yemenan. Nice to see him connect on that. And he's not that far behind. He's still in the picture, isn't he? He's kind of been sneaky about he's it. Four behind. Because he started with that bogey. We kind yeah. of we didn't really write him off, but it just wasn't really a start he needed. It's four down now. Bounce back. Four down on the front line. That's a good pace. Yeah, especially with the bogey out of the gate. On the Davidson bogey here, just like yesterday. Oh, he didn't like that, that's for sure. And uh, Mauri Willman, second bogey of the day. And uh, good time to get to commercial break. We're soon back with you on the back nine. Stay with us. Pro Discus Jokery is the world famous putter that can be used for all kinds of throws and is an excellent choice for everyone. Here we have the Pro Discus Jokery. The numbers are 3312. There's a very overstable but predictable throwing putter. It will always finish left and it will handle torque if you're a sidearm player. Anytime I'm wanting a fairly straight shot but making sure it finishes left and isn't finishing to the right. I enjoy this disc and I'm sure you will too. people are going to notice when they pick up the Supreme Series is superior grip, superior durability. The, the inspiration of, of creating a new disc line for Dynamic Disc was to actually step up the quality even more. Our friends over at Latitude 64 have to have special molds made. And this Supreme line of plastic is truly a premium plastic. It's a premium disc and you will know it when you touch it and when you throw it, that, that it's as good as it gets. impression of this craft they were reliable the plastic had a nice feeling it was very durable it seemed that when they were producing discs they came out more the same for me it's just good plastic this relationship is definitely something that I can build on Holy cow, Eagle! What just happened? 80. Good. Oh whoa, my gosh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Within even 30 meters. It's given a chance. Get no it. Oh, way. he did it! What a no highlight way. putt! Ah, <laughs> uh, another little showmanship. <laughs> so cool. Thank you. Welcome back to Nokia Open. Final day action here on the European Pro Tour. Nilo Hongisto on the tee of 11. On the chase card here. He's tied for fifth place right now. Four down after 10 holes. And 12 down total. And I'm in a great, great event. Going, yeah. uh, and wow. Nice. 
his forehand's huge. <laughs> nice shot there. You can't throw that much better. That was massive. And it just looks so smooth, doesn't it? Like another smooth thrower here. Christian Kuoksa. I think that's his new hunter. Yes, you are right. 500 Glimmer D2. That's going to be dropping on the 15th, four days from now. But even Christian Kuoksa cannot reach that. What uh, Nilo Hongisto was throwing. That's, that was really good. Uh, maybe the one of the best I've ever seen. Yeah. Great ones there. Yeah, like get all the way up there, like. And then is bogey free today, but only one birdie. And he's not gonna get a birdie here. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. That's <laughs> something I don't know out of got, the ordinary. I don't know how he got through there, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, he's back in the open. Is right it? In, yeah, right in the middle of the fairway. Okay, okay, I didn't see the very end of it. I just saw him go through that little gap. He's in that sunny spot, like. <laughs> what a miracle. That was the craziest local yeah. local line. A little bit of luck there from Tamo, but maybe right now if he's had a little bit boring. Mikal not having his best day, but this is a good shot oh, though. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Right through the gap. This can be attack that right side of the green. I uh, or either way, I guess, if he wants. Demo Talikain and that was just crazy. Here's the new leader of the event, the solo leader. Lauri nice. Lehtinen. Starting to get that look. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Oh, I no. spoke just a second too soon. I thought that was really good. Sometimes when you hug that tree, it's, it helps put you out a little bit on the hillside. But caught a branch that... Uh, so probably no birdie here for him, but he should be able to get a par. It wasn't a really bad kick, I don't think. No, he has... He's somewhere in the middle of the fairway. Daniel Davidson, he's smashing everything now, and he's going for the roller here. And oh, this yeah. It's a good roller. Oh, this is huge. That. That's really good. I mean, I guess how a little bit up left, but he's pretty far. Yeah, Juha, how far up? Okay, we get to see it he's now. 60 meters from the basket. Yeah. It's 55, I will say. Easy approach with forehand. Must get dirty. What a cool roller play there. And that would then take him to solo third, depending on what Jesen Yemenin is doing, of course. Were you able to identify the disc, Yuha? Looked really beat up. Some old flippy thing. Just just a stick. Maori with a pretty decent forehand. That could have cut roll, though. Maybe. Yeah, I'm so sure what happened there. What kind of ground play he got. I was worried about the cut roll get any reaction from the gallery so maybe not the best sign plus one came out that's really surprising yeah, didn't didn't have any any markings on the disc it okay. was a uh, yellow in the disc so that's uh, that's all i can tell there is some branches hanging on top of the uh, of the lie but it should be a uh, easy approach with the uh, with the forehand okay uh, Juha, did you happen to see what happened to Mark Willman's disc? Uh, unfortunately not. Okay. We did we did receive some news that we can help inform you about Samuel Hanenen's DM. He's uh, in a strong flu symptoms, so able to finish the event yesterday. It's unfortunate for him being one of the favorites coming to the event. has been having a great season so far. Yeah, up there, I think he was a tour point standing. Yeah, and he's not going to get any points for this, unfortunately. But uh, in the mix there, and he is. Uh, yeah, that also explained his uh, slightly slower pace. Mm -hmm. They won there. Yeah, yeah, he was coming down with something. Lauri, what can he do? It wasn't that bad of a kick, though, was it? Get some pretty good distance. Yeah. I think he might. A little bit off up there, though. Do you think Lauri will have any chance from from that position to get up and down for a par, Johan? Uh, yeah, he will get a par from here. Okay. No, no question. Just, just a little little downhill type approach. 
Yeah, it was hard to obstruct. Yeah, or, yeah, or a small uh, backhand flip or oh, forehand. Yeah. Behind the net on the guarding the net uh, teapad. Yeah, it'll be interesting if he's able to take a line. And it'll kind of depend on how far his disc is up under that net. I think he's close enough. Whatever he he is, he, he can, can just go over the stretch top out stretch there, out. stretch out the forehand, and but it's yeah. not going to be a birdie, and he's still going to be most likely one behind Lechtinen. And yeah. it was looking shot. No, that's the thing. Yeah, he's just been a little bit off today. Yeah. <laughs> look where, look where this guy is. Yes, in Yemen, and he's. Would be right up at the top. He hasn't given up on it. He is the defending champion here, and this he could go in. He's trying oh to throw God. it in. It was yeah. not far. Super close. Oh, right over the top. Yes, in Yemen, and he is now. Don't have it on as well. He probably be able to get up for birdie and. going on here yeah what a what an exciting day of disc golf here and Noki give you some stats for this 4.19 average 15% birdies not too many park jobs Two park jobs today. Look at this go. No, okay, it's fading a little bit early. Tavi Makala and Niklas Sampila getting that park job. But super easy birdie for Tavitson. That um, that approach is going to go to 14 down. And he said even. Yeah, Mauri is actually on the. Uh, on the basket side of the net, so he has a look for a birdie. Okay, that's good news. Long range kind of a circle two's edge type look, I think. Yeah, it's outside of circle two. Okay. 21, so. 22. Yeah. And Lauri is doing just what we talked about, just pitching it up to the green and uh, it's going to save the par. Demo Talikainen able to get his second birdie of the day on hole 11. And we have a... Even after that weird shot from the tee, he gets the birdie, Demo Talikainen, on hole 11. Wow. Kicked out on the fairway and... That must have been an insane second shot. Yeah, I hope we get to see... Yes, in the in the conversation at three percent. Daniel Davis. And look 3%. at this, Maori is like barely giving it a chance, just it's missing it, airballing it. it. Yeah, and yeah, not what we're used to seeing whatsoever from him. Maori is opening yeah. the door for the yes, and Daniel Davidson, and also for Christian Kuoksa, who is running wild out there on the course right now. And I can tell you, I I imagine that the whole whole European field of disc golf players is taking a sigh of relief right now that definitely yeah we have to apologize for the, the technical problems we're we've just been informed that our voices have been a little bit so uh, we're trying to get that fixed up as soon as possible but all apologies for the
the dip in quality here as of late. Uh, we're not going through puberty and uh, <laughs> our voices are still intact even though it has been a long weekend. But uh, sad to hear that we're having some issues with the, with the sound right now. Still a lot of action to follow here. No, sorry, yes, in Yemen and getting to 14 under par. It's going to be one behind Mauri Wilman. Yeah, and Mauri's going to be too clear of him. Or three. Mauri's for bogey. Okay, so just two. Yeah. Just two, yeah. So two strokes swing, no, not on this hole, but still a two stroke lead for Laura Lehtinen. Yes. And uh, right behind Mauri Willman, one stroke behind, yes, in Yemen and, and this guy, if he makes this putt, Daniel Davidson. Quaks are not far out of the mix either. No, he's right there. He's right there. Don't count him out yet. Nilo Hongisto as well. Yeah. Who we got? Things are really tightening up. <laughs> Exciting things. Hole 11 here. Another beauty. This is a tight gap to throw, to, to hit, and then get out to the open part of the hole here. Sloping down towards the green. You can pick a side of this big tree, and uh, then you have the basket up on a barrel just in front of a down slope. Difficult one, but a beautiful one. Yeah, Hundred stunningly beautiful hole. 108 meters. Par four. Yeah, Mauri Willman, this is not what we expect to see from you today. Over par. Today and 15 under par. Totally. Had such a healthy lead, and every time he has had like that, he has just been able to run away with it. Not today. Nelson Yemen is gonna try with us to hit the gap. Has done so beautifully. Hitting the gap. It's not gonna down the, but he's right up there where he needs to be. That's prime, prime time spot. I guess he might prefer to be on the left for his four. That's yeah, that's, I guess so. But his backhand is totally serviceable. He's Maybe shown that doesn't have the same touch in it, but uh, yeah, distance is no problem for the backhand at least. Daniel Davidson then also getting a birdie on hole ten and <laughs> another smash. This is gonna go far down the hill. Oh wow! This is that is something. I'm. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I, I will. Watching it fly, me. I will say insane. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a great word. Reaction. We know that.
Do we get to see some other shots from this card? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, but the four players on the lead card still holding on to the top four spots. Christian Quaxa right behind one behind Daniel Davidson and Jesse Niemeren. And he's putting for a birdie here in circle two. What can Lauri do? He does not want to give up that lead. He's two the Maori, so even with a par here, he would still be right there. And par should be able, sh he should be able to get a par from here. That's, I'm not worried about how aggressive will he be though. Tamo Dali kind of got up and down from a similar place, yeah. didn't he? That's, I mean, he was a little bit higher up. Too big present. That, that hit something early. Yeah, two leaves falling down there and that didn't get almost anywhere. I think he's right there by those crim crimson frost birch trees, huh? Yeah, the Finnish red birches. Yeah, very beautiful trees. Keep those uh, dark burgundy type colored leaves, even in the summer. Really stands out and helps with the contrast of colors here. So many different shades of green and then those beautiful white uh, tree trunks. Dark, uh, dark reddish purple leaves, beautiful sun. And I'm sorry if you're still having some having some audio issues. The guys here in the studio are working hard to fix that. I hope it's improving soon. I know they're doing all they can. Yes, in Yemenan, how touchy is your forehand? How close can you get to the basket here? I think this is going to be close. I think it's going to be very close. No, okay, came in just a little bit too fast, but stays in circle one, I think. Yeah. Juha, did you see that one? Yeah, inside circle. So he will get it in. Uphill about no eight, seven, eight meters. Yeah, seven, six, seven meters. That's just fine. Yeah, it checked up pretty nicely. Came in just a little hot. Yeah. I gotta keep an update on Daniel's drive. It was uh, with Cloudbreaker 3, and it's about 30 meters. 30 the from, from the basket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had one of the high, biggest highlights yesterday, and this is maybe the shot of the season so far. That's just insane. He just smushed that through the little gap with the low ceiling, and it was like a missile, wasn't it? Just yeah, it just kept on going. And he's putting everything he has behind every mm. every shot now. He He's laying it on the line. Yeah, he has love, that love like irritated look when he knows that Yeah, he's co like confident and irritated at the same time and that's that's a good combination. Now, Lauri Lehtinen, he's right under that crimson frost birch, our favorite tree on this course. Lauri from, what is this, 80 meters maybe? I do love those trees, but my favorite one is actually on the green on the same hole. <laughs> this one right here that we're seeing. Yeah, oh, there yeah. you go, Lauri. And you're gonna save the par even after two quite bad shots, I have to say. First from the tee and then your second one. But that's nothing to worry about. It's gonna be a par. Yeah, great recovery there. Stayed up on the shelf, tapping in. Lauri's way up here as well. If not for Daniel's drive, we'd probably be pretty excited about this one. Yeah, but it feels like nothing. <laughs> this is uh, just great. That's also going to be an easy, yep. Curled easy up nice. birdie. Just outside the bullseye. Daniel just sputting up to this thing. I can't believe. Look at it's it. It's even closer than what I first thought. That is... Whew. Bonkers, oh, man. To get through that little gap. I didn't. That much speed. I think it would almost be possible. 
I'm sure someone at some point has gotten something similar, but there can't be many. Let's see how aggressive he gets. This would be just a ridiculous eagle. If he's got a line through the tree, imagine if he goes through that tree into the basket. <laughs> yeah, I doubt. Delta will be too no, aggressive no, he's here. Go around the right side, and he doesn't really have too much of a smartly laying for a super easy birdie. Yeah, so the yeah, there, there, there wasn't really a lot to actually to even try to run. It yeah. was a little bit on the right side, so they he needed to go on the right side of the tree. Yeah, yeah. And with an elevated basket with a slope behind, I think it would be just stupid to try something there. Could when be, he gets be. the easiest birdie of his career, like sure, could be a to get get too aggressive there, especially when he's still in this. He is in this in all possible ways. Only three behind Lauri, but he's got to be within two after this hole. Yes, also going to be within two. Lauri is losing strokes on the card on this hole. Yes, any man in here. Very important. He is taking more and more time, but the putts are also more and more important to get. Mm -hmm. and for a short while, he's up to tied for second, but he's not going to be that for long because Maori is very close. Yeah, Maori's going to the the gap to one on Lowry, and he'll be one clear. Yes, eh? It's but looking like a four-player battle here right now. I think there's six players actually That's that are right, in this yeah. in this like for real. Especially with those stadium holes. And these are six, like, legit superstars, you know. I mean, this is top of the food chain here. Lauri still in the lead, but no room for mistakes. No room yeah. to do anything else than continue to score. Some hiccups on this hole, but uh, let's see what he can do on hole 12. We're heading off there. Juha, do you see any reactions from the players? Who is looking hot and who is looking nervous? We get to see this again from Daniel Davidson, though. I just already left the, uh, left the hole to go to the next one, but I can see Lauri is called the size. He's, he got the focus on winning. He is locked in. He's, he's got... He's, he's, yeah. He's going to be hard to beat. He's in that zone. We haven't seen it for a long time, but we're so happy to have him. So this is what I get. If you Aggressive if he wants to. Yeah. He's Forehand spike Heiser can get him up there for a birdie look. He's in the mix still. So is this man. He's going with a putter. 
Nothing big. Smoothing one out. Is this... Oh, yeah, it drops nicely right oh, on time. Oh, that I was worried about it all the way, but it just dropped then, and he's safe and in the perfect place on the first island there. Dame Lutalikain, a new champion from the Belgian Open. He was just too good there, but this is going to go out of bounds. It's leaking, but it... Oh, comes back in! <laughs> oh, nice, straight That's skip. That's the way to do it. That's a little lucky, but... Living on the edge there, and he's safe. Yeah, I think that came out a little bit early. I think he wanted to go slightly wider on sure, that. Yeah. Sure did. Look like he got away with one. Will we see a smash from Yesen Yemenen? No. <laughs> Tired guy here in the commentary <laughs> booth, Mikael Hame. Mikael Hame is... Yeah, I think we're going to see him try to cross the island to the other side. Yeah. But that's maybe too wide, no? I think it works out just fine. There you go. Yep. Well done. I received the third card. Rasmus Tuomin in there. We also have Onni Arminen. I think he's next up here, yeah. Oh, sorry, is that uh, Evald? I can't actually see. It might be the Norwegian. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, regardless of who it was. Let's see what kind of scores we got here. Don't have an update yet, so we have to wait for that. Yes, in Yemen and then on uh, hole 12. Could we see a skip in ace? I feel like he's aced this one before. Oh, yeah, I think so too. I have some faint memory of seeing some highlight from Yesin Yemenen. I feel like I hole. heard it. I heard the noise. I yeah, that was the over on hole. 11, it's a different layout for the European Open, but I heard the crowd roars. We hope that we have sold the audio issues by now. Yeah, big apologies for that. But great to get it uh, cleared up while well, this battle's heating up and hopefully we can maintain a, a clear connection and walk you through this epic battle taking place. One for the ages here at the Nokia Open. Fourth stop on the European Pro Tour. New venue for the European Pro Tour. Legendary course. This is a ton of fun. Oh yeah, smokes this. this that is could tracking for actually the actually go in. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, it wasn't far away, but good, good effort there from Yesin Yemenen. Pretty much parked. Daniel going not with a forehand. I would have thought he would have done that, but he he knows this course. So I'm not worried. Gonna smash one, yes, and it gets the perfect amount of turn. That's gonna be right next to the basket. Yep, that is in the bullseye. Parked. Mm -hmm. oh, both those players at the third place, they are they are hot right now. Yeah. Has Maori found his way back with the birdie on hole 11? He is. He needs to get his engine going. Yeah. We shouldn't for like we shouldn't. Uh, Forget about what kind of player he is, even though he's having a slower day today. But that's a little left. Oh. It's working right. Fights oh, through. Oh, he got lucky there, but it's going to be a long look at the birdie. Yeah, about 15 meters. Uh, maybe a little more. Uh, yeah. That's in his range, of course. Yeah. Lauri. Iceman. One win so far on the European Pro Tour from last season at Duini. I'll try to defend that title in a few weeks, but I'm going to try to get another one here at Nokia Open. Yeah, if he does, he would be the only the second two-time event winner on the MPO side. I like this. 
That's fantastic. I think Laudi's going to like it as well. Beautiful line all the way up there. That should be a birdie. Yeah, three almost park shot shots, <laughs> and then uh, Mauri Willman with a tester there from circle two. Might tighten up the bottom of this, uh, the, <laughs> the top of the leaderboard even more. You know, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's could really not a ton of separation between the top six players right now. Only four strokes between them all. If Mauri's not making his putt, we will see a three-player tie for second place. Ooh, it's heating up here. Because Jesse and uh, Daniel, they are so close. Yep. Or we could have a star frame if Mallory can sink this putt. It would be a great time to do it. He's been, been a little slow, so if he can get his motor going right now, that will it's kind of what he has to do if he wants to win. Yeah, this is an important moment for the Estonian superstar, Mauri Willman. I mean, he doesn't, like, desperately have to make it but it's going to help a lot yeah it's it's going to put pressure on lauri again and yeah well i'm sure lauri is feeling it already but but still but he's he's using it for his advantage you can see he's turning it into motivation yeah and that's scary when he does it he's just kind of fueled by it that's wide he air balls it that's not what we're used to see from mauri vilma this year he is not his best self today. Yeah. But, uh, he's he's not showing any emotions again, so probably he will, you know, he can be there back in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely not giving up. He's got incredible fortitude. But for once, he needs to fight for something. He has been just having smooth sailing almost the whole whole season but now it's another scenario he can still win this of course but in a completely different way than last week for example yeah every every hole after this has potential for dramatic score swings and we're going to see who's ready to perform in the stadium when we turn the corner here oh, oh we got a lucky little, with that one a little bit low just sneaking over the edge of the basket there and and in yeah, Maori's got to dig deep now. Yes, and Yemenan to get up to second place. Tied with Maori and most likely Daniel Davidson as well. Yes, it's no, doing no mistakes from yeah from there. Yeah, Daniel's just tapping in. Yeah. Does that mean Lowry's even closer? Or did he already go? Yeah, he already went. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking, <laughs> looking down. <and> missed <laughs> sorry. It happens. <laughs> Anyway, there, yeah. So it was kind of undramatic, at least. Okay, it was a so close. simple putt from him. So three great birdies and uh, Maori with the par. Three-way tie for second, like you said. Yeah, and two-stroke gap for Lauri Lehtinen there at the top. Kwoksa has taken a bogey on 13, so... Surprising, com considering where he was there. Yeah, he was in great shape. Huh? He must, must have tried to go, Too much. go for the green and got OB, I think. Nilo Hongistodok yeah, took was. a birdie. Yep. So yep. he's two behind the three player tie at second place. Now currently in fifth place. Two behind the second place and four behind Laura Lehtinen. It, uh, it's looking like a five person battle now. Yeah, I think that was maybe it for Christian. Nilo, with a little bit of luck could maybe get up there but i think it's most about the players on the lead card still yeah mm. yeah all, all he needs to do is focus on himself and get the best score he can get himself in the clubhouse and then then the mark will be set the players on lead card will know what they have to do to beat and if the better it is then the more pressure he's going to be able to put on them i'm having fun here how do you feel i feel fantastic yeah. <laughs> i hope your viewers are feeling it as well yeah it's been a really long weekend but a ton of fun so much incredible action and now it's going to come down to the wire we got five at least five guys that are really thirsty for a huge win here and uh yeah we get to watch watch it take place on one of the 
best courses in the world. Here we are. That this is um, the third card. Ani Arminen. That's right. I confused him for a while with the Evald Sande Moenövre. Yeah. But this is Oni, and he is attacking the island, and that's probably that's a little bit long. No, it's great. It's right there. Yeah, that was trapping for the bucket. Sorry, I I was wrong, but I'm happy for Oni's sake. Yes, up on the tee here. Hole 13. He's going big here. Oh. Is that having Can the come fade? Out? Unwind, unwind. It does not have the fade, but I think it crossed inside on that island. You think so? Yeah, uh, I, think I will. I will say. I will say he was not in the island. On the no. Okay. 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 Yeah, I, I was thinking maybe not too, but it's hard to tell from the angle we had. I'm not having my eyes with me at the moment, <laughs> but good that we have a guy on the course that can give us all the information we need. Juha Kute is doing a great job there out on the course today. Daniel Davidson flipping that up nicely and maybe... It fade right now. It does. Starting to fade just in time. Stays inbound. Sneaks it in. Right on the edge. He's so on fire, Daniel Davidson, now. It's so fun to watch him. This and one... Look at his eyes now. Yeah, this is that... Really hungry, fierce, Bobby Letton and we're used to seeing. I'm feeling scared. But I love watching this guy when he's in situations like this. Great things tend to happen. It's a little inside. Oh, we got a little, little bit of Does air. Get in. No, I don't like that one. Red flag. That's out of bounds in a tough spot, too. Mm -hmm. He's pinched. This is an opportunity for Maori to... But a chance for him to go back a little bit from the basket. That's true. He can take and it. And he can yeah. open up That's the a corner a little bit. That's a good point. He if can you remember to do that. He can use that rule to his advantage. Mm -hmm. If well, he backs he up... get a good spot by going backwards. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Nice low shot from Maori. Playing super safe. Not giving this any chance to do anything but stick on that first island. Mm. Exciting things going on here. Yeah, this is the first of some very difficult holes in succession. Third most difficult at 4.54. 19% birdies. 47% bogey or worse, so this one can trip you up for sure. This is our Norwegian. Norwegian, yeah. Evald Sandermoen Övre. Got a wild skip there. Yeah, these holes that you're seeing now, 13, 14, 15, 16, are usually the ones that are 15, 16, 17, 18 at European Open. So the four finishing holes, if you have been watching European Open. Yeah, and just legendary holes, you know. You it's like a big amphitheater type of a bull-shaped arena or stadium type of a feeling. You can find spots where you can see action from all of them. This is filled with thousands of uh, spectators during the European Open. Just a uh, really, really wonderful place to be. Mikael Hamme on the chase card. He's in bounds. Yes. Just getting the green flag, but it's not too easy to attack from there. It's a little bit weird angle. You think he's gonna go for it? Yeah, I think it's actually yeah. pretty pretty good because he's he's like kinda close to that uh inside OB line, so it shortens the distance. I I think he's gonna go. I hope so. He has like nothing to lose at this point. He doesn't have the hottest round. But there are some tour points, of course, and uh, yeah. But he's not in contention for the win. That's. But his placement's actually pretty good because you can, you know, have a shorter shot by being a little bit closer to that line. I think he's only about 95 meters or something. You might be right. You. It's it's not not actually that bad of a spot. Temu here, 
trusting his hyzer. And that's way up there with a great skip. Perfect. Prime time. Temu Talikainen, only one under par today. Maori's up, this is really important. It's perfect. Oh, yes. That's going to be a tap in birdie. Could be, yeah. a, could be a, at least a two stroke swing if Lowry's unable to get up and down here. I have to wait and see what Lowry is doing. It's just in Yemen and after going out of bounds. Gonna try to save a par from here. Can't imagine he would try to lay up for a bogey. He's gonna. No, final day he here. Can't afford it. You have to, have to press. Again, taking a lot of time, and he tends to do that on final day when. Things are important. I'm worried about this, though. I like it. You do. Oh, it's just a bit juicy. Oh, not what he needed. He's so close to the basket that he can pretty much just tap it in. But yeah, second OB. It's going to be a bogey. Yeah. Not what he was hoping for. Lowry's received his mark from the card. He doesn't want to take it back any farther. That's uh, surprising, to be honest. Or is he now trying to? Yeah, he's yeah, he's now taking it back. Right. The first mark was just to to show where where it's in line with the basket. I exactly. guess. Yeah. And now he'll remove that other marker once he gets this in place. Or did he already pick it up? He's got the American flag uh, mini from Tooney. Did you swip swap with him? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> he took the Finnish <laughs> one and he took the American one. <laughs> Lauri is now uh, gonna try to get as close as he can. To stay in the lead. Mauri is more or less parked for a birdie. Totally parked. Mm, this isn't easy. We saw, saw what Yesen Yemenan did. It's such a small green. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going to happen here? Right there. Yes. Such a good shot for. Lauri Lehtinen. Clutch. Yeah. Absolute clutch right there. Everything that comes flying there looks scary to me. But <laughs> these guys know what they are doing. That I I actually thought that Jesses was even further away, but he was he was very close. Even though it was out of bounds. I think this guy is gonna be able to get himself a birdie as well. Daniel Davidson, three in a row. Could be four after this hole. Picking a good time to get hot. He sure does. Yes, and Yemen is getting his first bogey since hole one, though, so he's. He was hot. No, yeah, he has been. Ooh. Okay. Oh, they all Perfect. look so scary, but he hits yeah. the barrel. Yeah, the, the, the turn is pretty tight, so some of those. Heiser forehands look like they're heading straight in the pond, but they're perfect. Yeah, Lauri. You're, you're still, still going to be in the lead, but it's going to be with one. You're going to have Daniel Davison and Mauri Willman right behind. And yes, it's going to drop to fourth. Couldn't ask for a much more exciting scenario here no. really on final day. I don't dare to say who's gonna who's gonna win. I, I, I don't I can't see a favorite there because I know what Maori is capable of. I know what Daniel Davids Davidson is capable of. He's so hot right now also. And Lauri has found his groove. He's in the zone. 
even though he's not getting this one, it's ah. I, I, what is U Disc saying? U Disc is giving Lowry a 58% chance of winning right now. That's gonna change though after this hole a yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll keep you updated on that. But these are four superstars who are showing off right now. This is wonderfully entertaining. Yes, he's a. Save his bogey after two OBs. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but the slight sour taste in his mouth after that one. Bogey is not what you need when you're two behind the leader. And not the perfect start on these stadium holes. Birdie and birdie for Mauri and Daniel Davidson and we're heading on to the treacherous bunker hole, hole 14. We know what can happen there and I'm seeing something blinking there on the leaderboard now also for Nilo Hongisto. We're gonna have to wait and see it here. Christian Koxa. This is wide, is it coming in? Yeah, he's on the island in two. Here's Nilo's second shot. Such a cool looking forehand. Yeah, it kind of like pauses for a second when he gets yeah. to the farthest point of his reach back. And then he just like slings it. And he's right there. Gonna have a fairly easy birdie putt. See here how Mikael's actually not that far from the basket. No, you are. You're right. It's a different angle though, yeah. It's not a bad angle though. No, apparently not. Be able to land a hyzer nice in there. Same with Dolikainen. Taking a slower disc, hanging it wide, working it right to the center of the island. Well done from the chase card there. Quaxa here for the birdie putt. No. It seems to be the miss for him that it just kind of stays in the hand a little bit too long and goes wide right. Otherwise, they're kind of like usually perfect. Yeah, he would have needed that one. Yeah, he's, he's, falling, he's falling back a little bit. From yeah, the, I think it's it's too much now. You can't reach. And then Teemo Talekain and missing also. He's been a little bit off on the green, it looks like. Mikael Hammer trying to hang on and play for some important tour points and the yep. price check. Nice the putt there. He's not a challenger for the title this time, but he uh, can still get a great finish. Nilo with a very important birdie. And Jams it in there. That was a very confident stroke. That's what I was talking about. The birdie from Nilo Hongisto. And getting one step closer. He's now tied for fourth with Yesin Yemenen. Yeah, tell us out there in the chat who you think is going to win. I think it's... <laughs> I don't dare to say. I think it's a... I, I say that it's one of the uh, Lauri, Daniel Davison, and Mauri Vilman, but I give them 33% chance each. You think it's a fair, yeah, fair, I, fair I, draw? I, yeah, I can't <laughs> pick one of those three guys. Yeah. I'll give you an update here on new disc. 49% for Lauri Lettinen. It's a nice, nice hyzer from Daniel. That's going to be huge. But he's looking so determined, yeah. so... Uh, That's a good spot. Yeah, 27% oh. for Mauri Vilman, 19% for Daniel Davidson. And just two percent for yes, and even and now, after that bogey. But so it's three three-way race potentially for if yes, he can do something special here, go on a run. And if you haven't seen this hole 14 before, it's a very special hole. If you're going out of bounds, instead of going up to the OB line where it is crossed, you just continue from your previous lie without the penalty stroke. Yeah. So it's. Uh, Plays with the bunker rule. Yeah, a little bit different from what we are usually, the rules we are usually using. It provides a lot of drama and excitement. It's a really, really cleverly designed hole. Can be incredibly damaging, but a uh, really rewarding feeling to get the three or, or even the four feels pretty good. If you're watching people miss the island, it's a important shot for Lowry just to. Smooth, smooth, safe hyzer. Not trying for too much, just trying to make sure he's in. 
He's right where he needs to be. Yeah, that's a good spot to attack from. All those three top players are in good positions. And uh, Yasin Yemen is going with a rare backhand. Yeah, we saw him first round square up that first birch tree that's in the line. And he needs to kind of go around that on the right side, most likely. <laughs> I'm excited. I think this is so much fun and I hope that you enjoy it as much as we do here in the commentary booth. I'm talking to all you viewers. This is great. Nice wide hyzer from Yesse. It's going to skip Yeah. Right, right past the road. A little bit. That's fine. Just fine. Yeah, he's got the power to attack. Maybe not the there. best throw, but it's all that he needs. Yeah, just want to be safe. Nilo Hong is still the fifth guy who could have a chance at this. And he's attacking. He's got the power to reach this hole. Yeah, he's oh gonna my be very goodness. close. Look at it. He's gonna be so close. Yes, he's just put it right inside the circle. He's making a run for this. He is. He's gonna get another one and he's gonna birdie the three first of the stadium holes. He three. also got hole twelve. Three of the hardest holes on the course. Hole fourteen, the most difficult at five point three seven average. Only seventeen percent birdies and he got that one. This guy could reach it in his sleep. But how close can he get? He can get very close. Look at this. Feedback. Slides down a little mm. bit too much, though. Okay, yeah. that looked like it was good, but it was just sliding out of bounds. Demo Talikainen playing this safe. Going with the forehand. Doesn't want to make the same mistake that Christian did. It's pretty far right, though. I hope it didn't yeah. skip OB. He is. He is. What does it say? Yeah, he was. Yeah, I think he was out of bounds. Yeah, it sure looks like it. I think he wanted to have a little bit, a little bit of a flex on that forehand, and it just came out too flat. Mikael Hamme has picked up the pace now. Two birdies in a row. He's not gonna get a birdie here, but it's gonna be a quite likely safe par. Looking cool in those shades. And is uh, cool with his approach. That's going to be a tap in par. Temu Talikainen is going to try to putt for bogey from circle two. Mm. Not the Temu Talikainen that I thought we would see today. Yeah, he's had a hard time scoring. I have seen some cool Okay, he's just cool no. shots from him. Is he marked? Yeah, he marked himself outside the circle so that he can take a step or he's gonna try to go for this one. Nervy putt. Into the wind. You don't want it to lift here. Long time, but getting it done, getting the result he wants. Well, of course, I doesn't wasn't looking for a bogey, but it was a great putt. Back to the lead card, Lauri Lehtinen trying to get on the island as soon as possible. Is that is justice. I think so. Yeah, hanging it way wide. <sighs> Trying to get to crash in the middle of the island. I, I think, think it's, it's good. good. I think it's good. Yes, there you go. Great. Right in the middle of the island. Lauri is not feeling any nerves. He's just uh, scoring right now. Yeah. He's just Even though it's like somewhat of a smile. I don't know if you can call it a smile. I think he's feeling that urge to be back on the top of the podium. That's what it looks like. It was a while since it was there. Almost a year. Yeah. Mauri Willmann wasn't long time since he was at the top of the podium. He's been there many times this season. Just last weekend in Estonia. Can he get up there on his first attempt? Yes, he can. That looks good to me. Yeah, right up by the basket. It's parked. No, no it went no. long. Just got a little greasy somehow. Okay, okay, okay. Things are starting to. Um, that looked really perfect. Yeah, it, it must. It couldn't have been out by much. Even I dare to say that it's 
safe and that's I usually don't <laughs> try to say yeah. things too soon. Juha, did you see what happened? Oh, okay, we watched this. I think he called provisional. I think he, he couldn't believe the spotter either. It sure looked good. Yeah, it, st I'm standing on the right side of the island and it sure looked like it's going to stay stay there, but it was a slippery slope and, Just... and it's out. And now he came up way short, so... That was, that was not good. Now he's showing... He's definitely feeling nerves, and he showed it there with that one. That was just not up to his standards. He's looking better. This is fine. This is going to land in the... Oh, oh no, no that's, that's not fine. Okay, we're... we're this is... Seeing, uh, seeing some... Uh, this might be the end of Mauri, Mauri Vilma's round. I think so. I think he cannot repair this. This has got a, a nice angle. No oh, way. No way. They're, they're not missing by much, but... See, they are laying right there, just right outside. There the Three of them. We didn't... Like... Yeah. This should be okay, I think. I mean, yeah. There I you mean, go. said it Art. a few times, but... Uh, finally gets the island. And he's going to be putting for a double bogey. I, I think that might be it for Mauri Willman. I definitely don't give him 33% chance after this. No, that's going to spell the end of his run at this title, I think. And what can Daniel Davidson do? Will he still hang on? Will he still be up there with Lauri? Lauri put the pressure on Mauri, didn't he? He put it up there. I the think he felt it. I think he would have wanted to be the first one to make the island rather than after Lauri. He's going with the forehand here, just trying to make this island look as big as possible. Is that low? low. Nope. Okay, squeaks it over. And stays in, but it's going to be a long putt. Cutting it close. Get to take a meter in. Played it super safe. I can say that the, the, it, the, the, I, I couldn't even uh, fit my finger, you know, between the hay pail and the disc. It was so close <laughs> yeah. to staying outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looked like from here, too, yeah. Just squeaked it right over the top. Here you see Yese Niminen coming in with the forehand. A little hot. And that is mm. not in. Now he's got a stiletto. Just want to take a, make a minor correction. Head for the meteor part of the island here. The safe skip, yeah. Smartly played. And he could still save a par, then. Gonna take a highlight putt. Yeah, and it's not maybe looking that likely that Yesen Yevenen will be at the top right now. Especially if Lauri makes his putt, and I have a feeling that he will do just that. I think Lauri is gonna have a maybe a two stroke lead after this hole. It's not a gimme there, but yeah, Lauri seems so focused and so dialed. Yeah. I, I and he's not gonna miss twice from that distance at least, that, that's no, for sure. So no, no, so it's, it's a par, I mean. Daniel Davidson, very, very important putt now. This birdie would be so important for him, but he's not getting it. He's getting a par, he's dropping maybe one stroke to Lauri Lehtinen. Yes, the first to save his par. Outside the circle. The defending champion, Nokia Open. Yes. Oh, oh no. No, no, yes. Uh, and that's what your, your chance just... Uh, Did you see that, Yuha? We, we didn't get a view on that. It looked like it was in, but... Ch Chained out. Uh, it was a little bit, little bit right side of the basket. Okay. Kind of jumped out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we had it. We had him obstructing our view. We we just heard chains and then couldn't and actually see it. Lauri to get a two-stroke lead now. Mm. 
with four holes to go after this. No, no, that's just soft. low, just low on the nubs there. He's not taking the opportunity. So I feel that, uh, well, that changes things for sure. I was already thinking that he had it. He would have wanted it, but you know, there's a lot of pressure. Mauri Willman with a double bogey though. Dropping two strokes, he's now three behind, behind Lauri Lehtinen and okay. uh, two behind Daniel Davidson. Okay. So it doesn't feel that he has too big of a chance. He's down to fourth place. Nilo. And Nilo Hongisto is hot at the moment. What is he doing? I think we might see something here. Who was that? Was that Ani? Oh, oh, no way. Oh, my goodness. What? No way. That would have been <laughs> far away. Is that out for of Ego? Bounce. That would have been a wild, wild Ego. That was Oni. Yeah. Oni, Arminen. <laughs> Sweet highlight. <laughs> a wild one. Smashing chains from about 120 meters away. I can tell you he got a par there, so that must have been for birdie. But uh, yeah, that great. imagine if he wouldn't have hit the basket there. It yeah, would have been would sailing have been, yeah. like to... I don't know, to tamper. Yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy. Mikael Hammer gets up on the green. He's going to have a birdie putt. And he has definitely picked it up now. He didn't get 15, but he will most likely get 16. This is Nilo's second throw. He's in prime spot now. If he can get up and down for the birdie... It's going to get real interesting. Yeah, because he got 15 also. He's gotten all these hard yeah. ones, like every stadium hole. And I get think this. he's going to get this one. Oh, oh, okay, it's maybe he's fading little. out too much. But that's safe. He could still get this one in the Just circle Just outside set. the circle, yeah. yeah. 12, 11 meters. Yeah, this guy still wants it. And Maori got... Yeah, it was, was triple, triple bogey. Yeah. Yeah, cause I, yeah, yeah, because he missed four times. You're all right. So Maori is definitely out of this now. I think that's, so. that's for sure. We're not going to see his third title this year on the European Pro Tour. We're going to have uh, maybe not a new champion in that way, but yeah, because both Lauri and uh, Daniel Davison already has some European Pro Tour titles. Not this season, though. That's that's quite okay. If it stops, Ooh. yes. When it is safe, <laughs> <laughs> you're hearing it already. You didn't need to see the flag. Yeah, the crowd oh, went wild. That was a wild shot, though. Yeah, he hit the cozy and and it was close to going out. out okay, of bounds. okay. So that slowed him down just enough. Just kissed off the koozie and checked up right on the OB line. He's gonna have a birdie look. I already got this pretty close to the basket yesterday, but missed the putt. Oh. This is like a four-speed disc, I think, that, yeah. he, that he throws on this 140-meter hole. West side gatekeeper. Super flippy. Working Doesn't it. put as much hyzer on it as yesterday, but... Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh. It's long of the basket, I think. Oh, that's a 150-meter mid-range shot. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's what the uh, Lauri Lehtinen does. I wonder if he's going to go after that. He's just outside the circle, isn't he? Yeah, that's uh, not going to be easy. Daniel Davidson is in a better position. Yeah, yeah we yeah. might, might, might. I shouldn't say too much too soon, but it's looking exciting. It's very exciting. This guy is just a little bit too far behind in my opinion at least. And yeah. he doesn't like this one. It's back to back bogeys. And he's going out oh. of bounds. And that's yeah. the um, That's it. Yeah, he's dead. He doesn't have a chance. Yeah, he doesn't want to give up. There's still a lot to play for, but he will not be the returning champion or the defend defending champion. 
after today. Out of Ilman. D2 forehand. Man, oh, he, he hates, hates it, it so yeah. much. I can see why. Is that going to stay in bounds? Yeah. Yeah. And I so don't bad, think good. maybe he should hate it because he, <laughs> it's actually good. That was pretty lucky, though. Yeah, it, but look <laughs> at that. He's closer than Lauri. Yeah, yeah, no, it worked out fine. Yeah. But I mean, you saw him turn his <laughs> yeah. back on it right away. He was he disgusted. couldn't believe it. <laughs> he never wanted to. There do. was a heavy, heavy tailwind on the hole, so it was so perfect for the gatekeeper. And uh, as you saw, it glided quite far. I think it's 11, 12 meters. Yeah. But he has to cut the direct headwind. So it's kind of hard to get. And I'm quite sure that Daniel will get his putt in yeah. from, uh, from the, I think it's seven, eight meters. Okay. Yeah, and he's having that up to putt also. He doesn't need to worry about anything. Yeah. He can just go for it. We just saw Nilo there getting his par. Still at 16 down then. <sighs> yeah. Lauri, Daniel Davidson and Nilo Hongisto. In this case, I would maybe give 45% uh, chance for Lauri and Daniel Davidson. I still think it's a tie game for those two. I don't dare to say which one is going to take it. And a few percentage to Nilo Hongisto, maybe 10. Mm -hmm. What is Udisk saying? Udisk is giving it 67% to Lauri, so two thirds chance to take it down. 24% for Daniel and 8% for Nilo. So. Do you agree with me or you, Disc? I, I don't dare to say at this point. I, I don't. I guess I don't have a strong <laughs> feeling. <laughs> I, I guess my opinion or or or. What you know? I think it's closer whatever. to what you're saying. I think. I mean, it's hard to give an advantage to either one, especially seeing the situation right here and now, that we're probably going to be tied after this one. Lauri just missed the putt on the previous hole. That was closer, even. He's definitely going to run this, but it's not going to be easy. Straight into the wind, just like you have said. Putting with this red hope. He's going for it. Yeah, of course. He's, he, he's going to go for this one. Oh, Luckily, oh, 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 it stops oh, oh, oh. there, but we are. That was close to being a gonna, roll away. Gonna have a big moment here for Daniel Davidson. It's gonna a be chance to tie up for the lead. So crazy that Maori ended up inside the circle with I that forehand. I can't <laughs> understand how that. A very unlikely result. How that happened. Yeah, that uh, that just happened. And a great birdie. That surprise <laughs> birdie, yeah. Yeah, and a nice bounce back after the triple bogey on hole 14. Yeah. Daniel Davidson now to tie for the lead with four, five, three holes still to play after this one. It's it's going to be exciting until the very end. That's clear. Just three strokes between the top four. And you have it. Oh, at the top. that was close, <laughs> man. <laughs> he <laughs> was having a slow start today, Donny Davidson, but he is the hottest player out there right now. He is uh, looking so good. Lauri has maybe actually slowed down a little bit here on the stadium halls. Yeah. Yeah, he has. He's still right there at the top, tied with Daniel Davidson, but right now it feels like it's trending towards Daniel Davidson. Yeah. Here we get to see our chase card action up there on 17. You'll recognize this hole as number one from the European Open layout. One of the easier ones on the course, one you really would like to get and I think Christian is going to have a very good look at it. Yeah, oh. <laughs> you can't get a much better look than no. that. It's it square on the koozie and stays right put there for a tap in. Mikael Hamme. AVR X3, 
First run. Swinging it around those birch trees. A little bit lucky to get through there. And right inside the circle. Good look at it. Demo Talikainen. Not his best day today. Probably going with that distortion. Oh, he didn't like that one. Ah, uh, kicks off the birch right. Why? And uh, this guy, who still is a contender. This is important here. Nilo Hongesto. The young guy from Turku. Who ace running it. Okay. Stops. Hopefully in time. I think he still has a look and a, a good chance to get it, but it's not going to be easy. Circle two. Okay, it went all the way outside of the circle. Long, yeah. yeah. But now, lead card action on hole 16. Daniel Davidson throwing a mutant here. That's a surprise. He's going to try to flex it then. He's going to go with a big Anheuser and then land safely on the... I was going just with a big Heiser then. Big wide Heiser, yeah. making sure it works. Right to left. That's fine. Well, that's fine. That's good. Hole 16 averaging 4.41 today, so fourth most difficult. 24% birdies, 44% bogey, or worse. Yeah, th this is what you used to see as the final hole on the European Open. Yeah, great finishing hole. Perhaps the best finishing hole in disc golf. Got all that crowd lining the fairways, the big scoreboard up there. Legendary stuff. This is pushing the distance. Can you get up to that corner? Can you get back in bounds? I don't think. I don't think. Oh, hey, no, you're getting clapped, so that must be in bounds. Yeah. Johan, how far in bounds was that one? A uh, couple of meters. Almost hit my legs. I'm I'm standing here behind the uh, trees. <laughs> <laughs> Lauri throwing his moonshine pioneer. Yeah. Can he? He hasn't had a birdie now since hole 12. Can he get one here? Look at his eyes. Yep. Looks good to me. Playing the wind nicely. Oh, he, yeah, he's, he's good. I thought he was going to get stuck behind that Norwegian spruce, but he's to the right side of it, so it's going to be fine. And we're going to have... The pleasure to watch Yesen Yemenen unleash on this stiletto right again. He has gotten bogeys on all the stadium holes so far. Can he repair that just a bit here? Yeah. I think he's going to have a good chance of doing just that. We're going to get to see those putts on 17 from the chase card. Demutalikainen just pitching up for a par. This is the one that has implications. Can he make this one and hang on? He needs it. No. Oh, that was so super close. close. That might be it for Nilo Hongisto. It's going to be hard to win. Yeah, but uh, he, he it's not up to him anymore, at least. Yeah, still a chance for podium. So I think we're down to two players now. Looks like Lauri Lettinen, Daniel Davidson, each with a win on the European Pro Tour, so it's likely we'll have a, another two-time champion. The only other one in the MPO division being Mauri Wielman. Got that honor last week in Estonia and also won the Copenhagen Open, first stop on the European Pro Tour this season. There's our leaderboard, tie at the top. Nilo Hongisto, solo third, two strokes back. Eight down on the day. Pretty solid. Yeah, that's almost the hottest pace on that top ten, except for Eka Curly. Yeah, he went down. That's bogey free. He's doing amazing things. Only one player has been having better round than that. That's about Mauri Willman yesterday. Yeah, shot that ten down in slightly better conditions. Daniel Davidson, first out for his second throw. Can put some pressure on Lauri.
going high. Does it have enough? Deep. Did he go deep? I think so. Yeah, just running there with the spotter. Yeah, spotter is right there. Uh, Definitely not going to be a birdie. Can't see yeah, him it's, taking a putt. It's in bounds, yeah. We, did, we, we see that it's not out, out of bounds. That's good yeah, news. Yeah, but he can't. Yeah, he can't make a birdie from there. I'm totally obstructed by the spruce trees. Okay, Lauri, how can you answer to that? I think he's got space to work that backhand line between those two trees. Yeah, I don't think this is this is too bad. That's not. Doesn't look to me, at least, that it's in uh, his he, way. Yeah, yeah, he he has a line there. He yeah. has a line. Great. <laughs> I'm having a big smile right now. Hard not to. Watching some great disc golf action here. This is, this is safe. This is sure. looking better. And it's up there in the circle. Yep. That's yeah. definitely advantage Lauri Lehtinen right now. He's got a very look from about eight. Not the easiest though with OB behind on an elevated basket. It's uh, he can't afford to miss it. Yes, is trying to bounce back after three punishing holes here. The most important part on the course. Can he get sixteen with a backhand? Yeah, don't think that's going to stay in bounds. No, just a little too overstable. But he can still get a par, a very easy par from there. Sounds like uh, Maori Vielman might be, might be feeling uh, some flu symptoms himself. That's what it sounds like from the chat board. Okay, do we have might some... Uh, someone with the last name of Vielman is saying that Maori's sick and not feeling good coming into the day so that could explain why he's off we haven't seen anything like this from him all year long if that is the case then he's doing very well to hang on still yeah we have to get that confirmed before we can say too much but that was a very very good shot from a potentially ill Mauri Willman gotta get the gotta get the birdie on 16 and he's gonna tie up with Nilo Hongisto, so we still might see him on the podium, even with a triple bogey on 14. Yeah. Uh, actually, I have to take my uh, words back a little bit. Uh, Daniel might get a birdie from uh, from inside the uh, three there. Okay. So there's an opportunity. Yeah, there is a lot of branches in front, but it's there. there is... There is a chance. There's some hope. That, uh, so it, yeah. you're saying there there's a, a chance. chance. <laughs> yeah. Like one in a hundred or one in a million? Depends uh, who for you him, are. I will put one out of 20. Okay. Out of one out of 15. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure if you tell that to Donald Davidson, he's going to answer with challenge accepted. Yeah. Nice forehand from Teemu Talikainen there. Yeah, challenging the OB line. And look, he is disappointed with this round. He knew had he had a chance. Only 18 years old. He's going to live the fight another day. This one could, could help out Nilo get on the podium if he can park it. It looks great. Feels like it's Pushing over. Pushing a little long. Ah, but not too long. That yeah, he's got an open look there. Yeah. Right inside the circle. Nicely done. But Mauri Willman is parked, though, on hole 16. Damo Talikainen looking for a highlight. And yeah, he gets, he gets it. it. That's a sweet putt. Now he's not looking as disappointed anymore, but I know that he's not satisfied with this a great final way. day in Nokia. And oh, another highlight putt. Drop and Mikkel Hemme gets three in a row here, the turkey finish, nice. which means that he's going to finish at eighth place. Yeah. There's like about 17 meters for Tamos and 15 for Mikkel. Highlight putts to finish off your round. That feels yeah. good, doesn't it? Nice, nice way to finish. Nilo Hongisto. This one's important. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Never a doubt about that one. 17 down. He's gonna hold on to that third place, even when Maori drops in his birdie. So Maori's gonna have to get at least one of the two. Yeah. yeah. They want to tie. He gets them both. He could surpass him, steal that podium position back. Christian also getting a birdie and he's finishing uh, at fifth place then. Tied for fifth. With Yesse currently. Yeah, yeah, so it might be that he finishes sixth place then, depending on what. If Yesse gets another birdie, yeah. right? Yesse is. Uh, gonna try to get a par here. Shouldn't be any problem, yeah. There you go, Jessen. You would have maybe wanted to get that as a lower number, but the par is uh, what you're getting. Daniel Davidson also getting a par. We missed his attempt then, but as we heard from Juha, it wasn't too big of a chance then. And we also missed this one, but it went in. Lauri Lehtinen now in the lead with two holes to go. <laughs> We're getting on to hole 17. 97 meters. Slightly downhill and a well-guarded green with some trees. But this is definitely one of those that you want to get. Averaging 2.86 today. So 32% birdies. If Lauri Lehtinen gets this one, it feels like he has sealed the deal. If you can't come in too hot, then it's gonna glide down the hill and it's gonna be difficult. It's kind of touchy actually. And look at this, this is the chase card. Best pace there today, Nilo Hongisto by far, nine down. Christian Quarks are six down and Nilo Hongisto is up there at third place. Has a great chance of finishing on the podium. But it's... Uh, those four players in the top now that has that chance, no one else. And uh, what a drama, what a thriller. Lauri Lehtinen in the lead with one shot, two holes to play. Now it's maybe, if I get to say again, 66-33 to, to Lauri. What is yeah. Udisk saying? 82%. Okay, they, uh, they, they believe more in Lauri and what I do, but I, I have, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't dare to say too much. I've well, been yeah. talking the uh, whole week. <laughs> <laughs> should yeah. just be quiet now and we should watch this in peace. Well, Lauri's had a lot of success in the past. Daniel's a fairly new player. He also has had some success, but Lauri rarely relinquishes his lead, and I think the algorithm is noticing that from the history yeah. with the scores. That's the main advantage there. Plus the stroke, obviously, but even when they were tied, it was it was leaning towards Lowry. <coughs> but please, le please let us know in the chat and in the comment section, who do you think will take this? It's about two players. Maure Willmann can fight and try to get up on the podium. He needs to guess, get this one or the next one. Or both. If you get some both, yeah, yeah. solo, yeah. Needs at least one to share it. Nilo Hongisto. I think that's his A5. And I think that's coming in perfectly. Just oh, but perfect. A little, little bit hot maybe, but he oh, stays the tree helps. up there, yeah? Just doesn't want to stop. It's like it's, it's hovering a, there. <laughs> it, is a, it is a very fast green. And with that kind of low, fast shot, yeah. Gets quite a lot of skip. Lauder with the savior. He has been very good with that. I don't think he hears that engine revving. Oh, that's a nice that's, release. Yeah, that's way early bad and a bad me. kick. What a shank. Yuha, let us know what happened there. He, uh, he will, uh, he, he, it was an early re release to the left, but he will get on um, par from there. 
Okay. It's not a bad spot. That's an opportunity right now. Yeah, the tie for the lead. Daniel Davidson. Also early. Cool. Oh, and that's even worse. He hits that tree right by that rock. That was a nervy shot from Daniel Davidson. What a surprise to see a yeah. shank fest here on 17. I mean, from the two guys in the, at the top, this one's second easiest on the course at 2.86. 32% birdies. Nerves, clearly. Just it with a harp. Drifting it towards the pin. And that's going to slide up a little bit long, actually. I thought it was going to be really good, but it's still just fine. Just outside the circle for a birdie look. Yeah, but surprising, no one getting that close. Maori with the best one. <sighs> yeah, it's saying yes, he's inside the circle as well, but I'm not so sure. Right, right, right on the edge, anyway. Mm -hmm. Make sure to head on over to discgolfstream.com if you like what you're seeing here and subscribe. It goes a long way to help support us and provides you access to all that exclusive content, including live broadcasts from all the European Pro Tour events in both Finnish and English, at least on the MPO side, just English and the, and the FPO. Um, there's also the European Championships, four rounds of that coming, coming at you live, separate streams, MPO, FPO, and the Finnish Nationals in Finnish language only, but Lots of great content, lots of exciting action we've seen. He has to get up and down for, for the... For yep, yeah. that's fine. He's going to do just that. And uh, golden opportunity now for Lauri to be in the lead coming into the final hole. They both have great chances of getting that one. Throwing the same disc again, now with a forehand. Closer. Even closer, that's going to be no problem for Lauri Lehtinen. And what Jesse and Mauri is doing, yeah, what Jesse is doing is not so important for the final standing, but Mauri, that's more important. Yeah, that's a, a podium position at stake. Jesse, if he gets a birdie, he can, he can get solo fifth, but that's kind of about as high as he can reach without some weird meltdown from Maori. But that's what we said also. Jesse is somehow almost always, well, basically always in the top five, six here at yeah. here in Nokia. Yeah, even with the slowdown there in the stadium holes, three consecutive bogeys, he's still right there in the top five. Yeah, no, I think that he has a good chance of getting this one. It's right in his jump, jump putt, sweet spot zone, isn't it? I think so. 12 meters. Oh, he might have been just inside. He didn't jump it. Comes up just short, front rim. A little bit low, and uh, yeah, he's uh, gonna have to pick up 18 if he wants to be solo fifth. Right now, tied with Christian Kuoksa. Yep. Shapes up good for his forehand. And Mauri, can he get up on the podium, first of all? And back to par for the round. That's true. That's true. It's been a struggle today, but that's a sweet putt right in the heart. And Maori is up on the podium where he belongs. Even after a slow round like, like this, the way he played on day one and two has given him a opportunity to have a slow round and still able to get up on the podium. Yeah, and he hasn't had any troubles with 18 so far. He's birdied it easily both rounds, but he does have to keep it in bounds if he wants to keep that podium position. So he's obviously not his usual self. He's a bit off today. That might have been looking like an easy putt, but look at Daniel Davidson. He Stress. was feeling that <laughs> yeah. one. He felt the pressure, and it wasn't the best looking putt. It barely got over the No, he, I felt he got a little bit lucky, and he felt it himself. 
Not a confident stroke. No, that's much better from Lauri. And he has that one stroke lead with one hole to play. And that hole suits them both just as good. They yep. both have the power forehand. Yeah, they can also shape the backhand to get their roller or whatever. They have so many options on hole 18. Yeah, no clear advantage. I mean, just that stroke, obviously, for Lowry. But as far as just the shot goes, they can both attack this from multiple angles, like you said. But there is OB on the left side. There is OB on the right side. There is, it is a tricky green. Lots of things can happen, and especially with some nerves, knowing that you're playing for a Nokia Open 2023 title. 100 tour points and a big price check. Yeah. And we're gonna see, yet again, a player getting his second European Pro Tour title. Daniel Lovitson won in Copenhagen last year. Yeah. Laura Lechtinen won a Tuni last year. Yes. Trying to join Maori Bielman as the only two-time MPO winners. Which one's it gonna be? Find out here very shortly on Disc Golf Stream. This hole averaging just above par at 3.01. 25% birdies, 22% bogeys or worse. Nice balanced score separator for the finish. Eighty five percent chance, according to Udisc for Lowry letting in right now. Yeah, of course. With that one stroke lead I, I can see that and especially when you feel that the hole shapes up so well for them both, I, I can't see that anyone has an advantage here on this one. Maori, if he could put this close and get himself a birdie, that's going to be a solo third place finish. He's going to bump Nilo Hongisto off the podium. And he has been great at this hole. Birdied it day one and day two. Parked it on day one. Yeah. 114 meters forehand. That's nothing for him. And this is looking just like the previous two days. It's going to be right there. Sure is. Park job. It's going to be a podium finish for Mallory Bielman. Solo third, Solo I think. Solo third, yeah. That, he cannot miss that putt. That's just, that's just not going to happen. Lauri Lehtinen is going to throw. I think that's a silver left drive. Pretty overstable distance driver. Yep. This is, this is it. Crucial moment. I like it. Yeah. Might be a little bit on the right of the basket, but it's... No, it's right there. Oh, right inside yeah. the circle. But not the gimme putt. With some nerves, if, if Daniel Davidson now is getting closer... If he can park it and put the pressure, that would be ideal. put a lot of pressure. He's going with the roller. He's lining up the roller. This is a little riskier. If it hits a bump or something, I've seen them spin out left. But this is his game plan. Ooh, that might be turning... That's great. He is around the same distance away from the basket. Juha, did you see which one is closer? And in just a second, I will go a little bit closer. Now watch out for incoming Jesen Yemenen. We're going to have to watch him first. Still at O, I think. Lower line, straighter line. But that's also going to be close. Nicely done. Yeah, who's going to be the first one to putt? Is it going to be Lauri or Daniel? Uh, Daniel will go first. Okay. Yep. He's just outside the circle. Uh, both are inside about eight meters. Okay. So that means that Daniel Davidson, if he misses the putt, Lauri is the champion. Yep. Needs to put that in to force the issue and make Lowry clutch up. And if Daniel makes the putt, Lowry still has a chance to be the champion on this hole by making his putt. Yep. If he were to miss it, then we would move on to a playoff. Pretty tense. 
I feel I, feel, I don't dare to speak. I, I mm. don't dare to say anything. I feel like I'm going to disturb the players. Yeah, maybe yeah. We, could, we could be quiet. But we should definitely shout out thisgolfstream.com if you're not yet a subscriber. Now's the time. These are the kind of moments that you're missing out on if you're not following what we're doing here. Yeah, and that's a great way to help support what we're doing and help us continue to provide high quality European live disc golf. So we're saying it again. If Daniel is missing this putt, Laura is the champion. Deep breath. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Daniel Davidson uh, felt the nerves. We saw it already on the previous hole. That putting didn't look comfortable. And he is not happy right now. Slightly anticlimactic finish yeah. there, but uh, well-earned victory from Lauri Lehtinen. And he just lays it up. Doesn't need that one. He's going to be your champion here at the Nokia Open. Only second two-time champion in the MPO division. It's so nice to see him back up in the top where he belongs. He's Amazing storyline here. Had a very serious injury at the end of last season. Or he was thinking about giving up this, his career even. He wasn't sure if he was ever going to no. get to throw a disc again. He had a, a major injury to his throwing hand. Deep infection in the, in the knuckle. Oh, oh what that was a bad What happened hit. there? That was for him to get to solo fifth, but he's going to have to share that fifth place now with Christian Quoxa. That just cost him some money. Yeah, it did. That bad little spit out. I don't think he cares so much if he's sharing it or not, but yeah, it's, it's costly. It's kind of a bad taste in your mouth, I guess, <laughs> in the end. <laughs> That's not how you want to finish your round. Mauri Willman bouncing up to solo third. Congratulations to him, battling through <laughs> final day where he was obviously struggling, but finished with... Uh, Done. Four birdies yeah. after after that struggle on the bunker hole 14. Lowry Letton in your Nokia Open champion. Huge congratulations to him. Very well played. Now you're finally seeing a smile. Barely. He can't believe it. Some relief. But and it's true. Almost. Great camaraderie on the card. Hugs all around. you're going to hear from him in a few, a few moments here. What a nice feeling for Laudi. We get to hear from him right away. Lauri Lehtinen, champion of Nokia Open. Congratulations. How do, how do you feel? Uh, just insane. <laughs> Nothing else. Uh, you had uh, some sort of injury and you have been out of out of the course, I will say, for a while. Uh, I saw that that uh, look and, and what you have, kind of eye of the tiger, you were in the zone, you're going to win. Are you back? Uh, I hope so. Like, I feel this is a really good start for, for it. And as you mentioned last winter, I didn't know if I'm going to play play this game ever again. So feels just insane being in the military service and out of the course. and. Coming back then, win, 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 to win this, it just feels insane. Well, congratulations, and uh, we hope uh, to see you on the podium many more times this season. Thank you. Wow, very emotional interview there from uh, Lauri Lehtinen, and I'm quite touched. Yeah, I think it's hard to to understand what Lauri Lehtinen has been going through, being right back where he belongs now after that kind of doubt. And look, he's playing bogey free today. Yeah, he's clean. He did it. He did what he had to do. He did it. <laughs> he, uh, he took down the, the superhero, Maori Vuelman. It felt like he couldn't even find words there in the interview. And I don't think he... He was having feelings and I could yeah. feel them too. I, I, I know I see how much it, it means. Goosebumps yeah. here and I'm feeling things myself. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard not to, to root for Lowry Letton. He's such a, such a good guy, such a great player, you know, and to have, have to go through something so serious at such a, a young, early part of his career. And, you know, it must have been uh, very anxiety provoking to 
you know, not not be sure about what the future holds for your career and, and look, for the game you love, you know. Look at this. We missed it. Mauri Willman up to second place. Really? Yes. He tied with that birdie, Daniel Davidson. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware of that. No, me the same here. <laughs> yeah, we were too focused on the the two battles between <laughs> first and and. Uh, Third, but yeah, Mauri is up, tied for second with Daniel Davidson. Yeah, and that could that could have implications in the in the tour point standings at the end of this thing. I mean, Definitely. potentially. Yeah. Okay. And Daniel Davidson, we have to we have to talk about him also. The, the way he played yesterday, especially, but also today, he is just giving everything he has, every little cell, every little fiber in his body is just going full at every stroke pure passion and there just was nothing left there when he started to feel nerves at hole 17 and and 18 yeah i wasn't able to clutch up there at the very end and, and close the deal but a, quite a heroic performance to push it there to the very end you know yeah. big and deep and uh yeah really really legendary epic result here at nokia open we have another two-time champion in lauri Lettinen. And he's going to be the defending champion next time here on the European Pro Tour at Tuni Open. Flagship event here on the European Pro Tour. What a great storyline. Lauri Lettinen is back. Yeah. And we are going to be back 29th uh, June with a press conference and then the main event starting the day after. That's super exciting. Really looking forward to that. We've got a few weeks off and we're going to be really excited to come bring you that here at the end of June. Yeah, it has been a long weekend, but it has been filled with highlights, so many touching moments, so much drama, so much excitement. I'm so happy that we get to share this with all you viewers. Thank you so much for watching together with us. Thank you for all the nice comments we are getting in the live chat. Yeah. Yeah, thanks to everybody who makes this happen, all of our partners, all you viewers out there. Make sure to spread the word about what's happening and uh, how exciting it is to watch European live disc golf. Consider uh, going to Disc Golf Stream and subscribing or downloading the app. Yeah, what an incredibly exciting first uh, European Pro Tour event in Nokia we had. Yeah, and before we are finishing here, we also need to say yet again congratulations to both our champions. Heidi Leine took down the FPO earlier today in a dominant way and then also of course Lauri Lehtinen in a much more exciting way now yeah just a few moments ago so uh, great champions indeed incredibly dramatic and exciting finish here that's gonna do it for this Nokia Open four stop on the European Pro Tour had a ton of fun thanks Victor thank you Andy it has been a pleasure and uh, we are soon back at it again yeah Thank you all for joining us. We'll be back again for the Toonie Open. Andrew Gum here. Victor Togestad here. Signing off. <laughs>